What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? What's good? It's your boy, Big Art. Welcome to Big Art Sports, man. I'm in the building. What's good? It's your boy, Big Art. I'm here. It's another live stream, y'all. We got a live stream today. We got a game today, another game day, y'all. We got the Hawks, Atlanta Hawks versus the Los Angeles Lakers. We in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I think it's game four of our five-game road trip. You know what I'm saying? We got the Hawks today. Definitely going to be a big game. See if we can get another road win. You know, the Hawks is a pretty good team. I say a little bit above average team, so it'll be real big to get a win against them today. Uh, we also got some Laker news today, too, on the trade front. You know what I'm saying? We got some news today on the 80 injury front. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have a nice little pregame discussion before the game start today. You know what I'm saying? When I'm going to kick it off with the keys to the win for the Hawks game today. We got to contain their guards. You know what I'm saying? The rule uh, number one, contain Trey Young. Don't let him get off. You know what I'm saying? Because he can end, he can end the game real quick for us, real sick. So contain their guards. See if we can hold Trey Young down a little bit. Uh, number two is the turnovers. Last game we had like 25 turnovers, man. So we definitely got to keep the turnovers under 15, 12 or under, something like that make up for last game. We got to be real smooth and real efficient, you know. And number three, I'm going to go with make your shots. A D-Bonner classic, you hear me? Got to make your shots because when you're on the road, you hit your shots, you can put teams away. You know what I'm saying? Be real discouraged, you know, real shit. So, yep. Yep. And happy birthday to LeBron. To he turned 38 today. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody know that already. Uh, OG getting old, already old, but you know, he's still uh, aging like fine wine, still out here doing his thing, still balling, still holding the league on his back, you know what I'm saying? Still doing his thing, man. So, it is what it is. Happy birthday to Brian, man. Real sick. So, uh, yeah, you know, he balls out on his birthday, so he definitely gonna go for 30 plus tonight. That's another reason why I think we can get this win, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, one time. One time in Atlanta. Let's go. Um, Anthony Davis news. You know what I'm saying? They said that he will be out two more weeks, middle of January. You know what I'm saying? So that's good news. Too. He's got to wait just two more weeks. Then we had 80 back. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. And um, just in the Lakers organization came out, said they ain't going to do nothing. They're going to see about doing something until around the trade deadline. So they pushing pushing it back again and again and again. So yeah, it's like they don't they don't do nothing to the team, send them a message whether they good or not. And I think that's been their stance this whole time. They assemble a team that's trash and then be like, oh, it's not good. So we're not gonna do no trades. So yeah, that's on them. So yeah, that's that, y'all. Let me say what's up to everybody, man. What's up, Chris Sims, man? What up, Dolph, bro? What's good, King Dolph in the building? What up, Cuzzo, man? Music man in the building. What up, Cuzzo, man? He say LeBron going for 30 tonight. Big facts. I hope so, man, on his birthday. Juggernaut, what's good, bro? Keep it pushing. What's good? Anthony Davis fan, what's good, man? Out of Michael Hurd. Ball is life. What's the deal? I mean, I'm here. I'm here, bro. You bugging. You know what I'm saying? You can't put that case on me yet, bro. Real shit. What up, Will, man? Peace, Will. What's good, man? Nicholas Brown in the building. What's good, everybody, man? Man, we got a good game today, man. I hope we have a really good game, you know? But, hey, we going to see. He said, man, I said that nigga was just chilling, bro. Let Brian get his numbers up. Yeah, get his numbers up. That's what's going to happen. That's all that's going to happen, bro. Real sick. He say, Lakers are versus Nets finals. Man, yeah, right. You know, we realistic over here, cuz though. That's gotta be realistic about things, bro. The Nets are making that turnaround, but I don't see the uh the Lakers making that turnaround. They don't want to, you know. I was working on a video today about the Lakers, you know what I'm saying, and how they've been treating Brian over these years. It's a compilation video. I was gonna make it a short, but it ran so long. I went back and got so many clips of just what Rob Palenka said. What Jenny Buss said, you know what I'm saying? What what Magic Johnson said, what Darvin Ham said, just over the last four years. So 
Yeah, that's definitely going to drop either tonight or tomorrow for sure. So look out for that, y'all. Man, oh, man. But yeah, that's what's happening in the Lakers front, you know. There's more stress and more drama. That's why we got to take it one game at a time. Hopefully we can get this win, you know, one win at a time because we got to turn this around. We got to turn this ship around, man. What up, design, man? What's cracking, dude? Nothing, man. I'm going to drop this link in the chat for y'all. I'll come up here and holler at your boy. Yeah, you know. So that'll be, I think, AD missed 10 games so far. You know, so that'll be probably I'll be about another eight games, maybe. You know what I'm saying? 18 games. That's a lot in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I know I hate it had to be that much. You know what I'm saying? But if we could somehow start winning some damn games, that's the only hope we got for any kind of turnaround. Any kind of a play good towards the middle, towards the end of the year. He'll definitely be be back before the all-star break. You know? That's something to look forward to. But say we got eight games left and we go two and two and, you know what I'm saying, six or one and seven in these eight games, that could put us in a hole where even as, as early as middle of January, he come back, it won't matter because we'd be in such a hole, it's ridiculous. We can't take advantage of what's going on in the West right now with everybody hovering around 500. Certain teams in the West, like the Denver Nuggets, are going way above 500 or starting to at least. You know what I'm saying? So we definitely got to take advantage of it. Beat teams in the East. The Hawks is good. They ain't that goddamn good. You know what I'm saying? So we can get these niggas for real. What up, dog? Let's go, Hawks. You hear me, bro? That's my nigga right there, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Hawks. On Brian's birthday. You know what I'm saying? Hey, On Brian's birthday, bro. Let's get it. I, I just want these niggas to play, bro. Play, yeah. bro. That's it. Play hard, bro. Damn. I forgot to do the starting lineup. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bad news. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be Dennis Schroeder, Austin Reeves, Patrick Beverly, LeBron, and Thomas Bryant. Wow. Um, yeah, Lonnie Walker was ruled out right before the game. I think he fell awkwardly on his back last game and ended up affecting him to going to, into this game. So they ruled him out. But, hey, that's the start lineup. You know, it's little as hell, bro. But hey, that's crazy. <laughs> and besides Trey Young on the Hawks, they got tall players on the wing. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see. It's gonna be like the uh, the Magic game the other night when they had all them tall niggas out there, out there. What up, Sturdy? That's crazy. Bro. Yeah. So we gonna see. We gonna see. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, it's like when. Uh, the other teams have bad games, though. They say we play good defense. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> man, hey, you can't win for losing, man. He said Atlanta Big's going to eat. Yeah, who they who they got? They got Clint Capella. They got the other dude. What's his name? Um, I wanted the Lakers Colin. to pray for him. Uh, nah, the black. Oh, Capella ain't playing. Capella ain't, Capella ain't playing. Oh, okay. They got Collins. What's his name? Collins? John Collins? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I forgot they had DeJounte Murray over there. Yep, that's why I was talking about their guard play earlier. We got to somehow try to contain their guard play. They finna eat, bro. That's a mismatch, dog. That's a straight mismatch. I hope they just still be, like, dysfunctional. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you, you know when teams play us, or they, they lose their dysfunction. <laughs> that's big facts. They lose all their dysfunction. They be like, oh, we got to come together today and we going to beat the Lakers. And, and I, I miss them games where we used to beat, beat teams. We used to call them get well games because, you know what I'm saying, you're playing bad, you're going through something, go out there, beat on somebody, come together. Niggas doing that to us now. Yeah, because we the most dysfunctional team in the league. Man, oh, man. Wait till you see this video I got cracking off, bro. You know, with a short, 
No, I, I started it as a short, my nigga, but I found so many clips, I had to make it into a, like a regular video. Oh, yeah, I heard you talking about it. Yep, I had to do it. It was crazy, bro. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm at like the four minute mark, and you know, shorts can only be 60 seconds or less. <laughs> right. Yep. So, hey, I mean, turn to a video. Hey, hey, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, no doubt. It's still going to get seen. Yep, I think I might chop it down. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the video right, and then I'm gonna chop it down into a short and get the main parts across. Come on, Patrick Beverly, Patrick Beverly, bro. You know what, man? I can't with dude. So we gonna see. Maybe he'll start hitting his threes. That look like a damn air ball. He say the Lakers win about twenty five. Allen. Don't jinx it, Allen. He say someone needs to help LeBron with the scoring load. That's facts. I hope it's Austin Reeves. Cause I would have started. I would have started Troy Brown Jr. Somebody else besides. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what? I can't stand Patrick Beverly ass, bro. Yeah. Oh my God, bro! Why is he always taking the first shot? Cause he, cause he, he, he's still one of the only players who. As soon as he get the ball, he make a move and shoot it, or just get it and shoot it. Yeah, we getting out rebounded. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna happen. Well, Austin Reeves and her battling for rebounds. <laughs> hey, well, but but how long does it take for you to, before you get smacked upside the head enough? Be like, okay, we got to start playing bigger, bro. They got three bigs out there, bro. Yep. I don't even know who the other big is. I thought that's what I was saying. Uh, Trey Young is a smallest player. They got three bigs out there, bro. Because you got to think, uh, what's old boy name that was in San Antonio? Murray. Murray. He like six six. Yeah, about that. Yeah. I would have started Troy Brown and put Troy Brown on him. Why not? Goodness gracious, dog. You say, hey, T. Monroe, what's up? What's up, T. Monroe? He said, I miss Monk. Yeah, he would have been nice on this team, but I think I would have had the same problem. If we would have got rid of, like, three guards and then, like, kept Monk, then I'd be cool. But we got too many guards on this team. And it's crazy because normally, you know, LeBron led teams be having big wings and every goddamn thing. This that nigga was, out here with motherfucking the munchkin, the yeah. lollipop can, nigga. That's always been the plan. Yeah, man. Uh, nigga, don't take us into the new year with a with an L, nigga. When we play again after this, Sunday? Yeah. And it's, I want to say it's the Magic again. No, no, not the Magic again. Who no, it's it? Atlanta again, I think. I thought or we Sac had a Sacramento, one of them. No, it's Atlanta, I think. Yeah, Sacramento is the last game, and it's a game in between the Hawks because we do play the Hawks again. But I thought it was somebody that we played earlier, too, because they're going back to L.A. After, ne after the next game. What up, T-Killer? What's good, my boy? That, you know what's really good? We got to win this game, T-Killer, man. Stop playing. We need y'all. T-Killer, I need you to call the general manager of the Celtics mm -hmm. because I know you know him and tell them to go ahead and make a trade with they hated rivalry, the Lakers, man. You know what I'm saying? Because cause when it was when y'all chips was down and out in the 70s and 80s, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lakers helped y'all. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to return that favor and help us, bro. I think say we need we need that get back. You hear me? I need to try those Robert Smith or something. So <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> oh, Brian still out there dunking on niggas, bro.
All right, man. Let's go. Let's go, Lake Show. The Lakers need Clay Thompson, huh, Allen? We need a lot more than Clay. I I I even take cornbread off of the Boston Celtics. <coughs> At least you know he'll play hard for you. Yeah. 40K on the way. I heard that's 30, man. I think he can get it. I remember we was talking about that uh, the other day, 30, man. You know, he get closer. It, the closest he gets to, to 39,000 this year, the easier it'll be for him to get 40,000 next year. You know what I'm saying? Because the way he's scoring, you know what I'm saying, it's ridiculous. Just in terms of scoring, his scoring hasn't slowed down. His body slowed down and everything else. I get the aging and everything. He don't look the same. But as far as his scoring output, it hasn't changed. <laughs> and he's still shooting at, at, at an, an efficient clip. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely could see Brian hitting 40,000 next year. I don't know. Look like it's gonna be one of them games where we hang in there. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> we bro, they, they don't do nothing, bro. That's oh my god, bro. That's terrible. We that's on the road, bad. huh? We on the road. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta. They gonna they gonna come out swinging. They at home. We gotta take their first punch. You know. Man, I'm, I'm tired of taking the first punch, man. Yeah, they be knocking us out, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> the one hit of quitters. <laughs> hey, we got to take it one quarter at a time, man. Win the first quarter, bro. Hey, man, that's every time. Maybe we say the same thing. They're going to come out in the third quarter and be boo-boo cheeks. That's what I'm really looking forward to this game because I want to see if they even learned something from the last couple games. Because if I was an owner, bro, and, and I knew this was a problem, and I just sat back and watched it over and over again. I fired Darvin Ham, man. I'm sorry. Well, it just seems like they don't care, or either it's they like don't they don't care. care. Either he, either they don't care, or he's not willing to 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 make adjustments. He's stubborn as hell, and he's hard headed because because bad shit is happening, and it seems like there's no adjustments made. The only time he adjusts to change his lineup is when somebody's injured. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if he's trying to instill some kind of consistency, but the consistency that he's instilling is us getting our ass with, with little guards on the court. But that just goes to show you, bro, that he don't trust them other niggas, bro. Think about that. So he don't he when, don't he don't trust them other dudes, bro, to be on the court like that, bro. So you saying if we put them other dudes on the court, we'll lose more than what we're losing now? I don't know. It's, and that's just how I said about the big dummy that's on the bench. It's obvious it's something that is not there for him not to be playing, bro. And that's just like anybody else. You see Kendrick Nunn don't get no burn. Right. We know why he don't. He can't. That nigga can't do nothing. Who else don't get no burn? Toscano don't get no burn. Oh. Like, what else What else can he do with this, with this, with this team, dog? Start giving them niggas some burn and see what happens. Shh. I heard hey, Dolph, I heard this nigga use this term before. Um, uh, they asked him a question earlier in the season when AD wasn't getting the ball in the fourth quarter, and he was like, "What's your game plan?" or whatever. He was like, "Well, you know, we try to throw things at the wall and see if it sticks." You know what I'm saying? I didn't heard him use that term a few times. So why don't he throw that shit up up against the wall and see if it sticks? Because he don't have no faith in them niggas, man. It's like, think about it. When them niggas do get out there, the time they do get out there, bro, that's your time to do whatever little things you can do, bro. And these niggas don't do nothing. They just go out there and, and, and waste minutes and then be back on the bench and then you don't see them again. Mm -hmm. You like, don't see, like, you like, never yeah, see them like again, Troy bro. Brown Jr. Yeah, like Troy Brown Jr. Yeah, like, dude, like, you shouldn't even be on the bench, bro. I didn't know too much about him. I mean, I knew who he was, but I knew didn't know too much about his plan. His skills or whatever, until everybody was talking about him and getting the seeds and Troy Brown Jr. did da 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 da, and he done showed some flashes, but he done dug himself a hole. But the other night, I don't know why that boy took him out. 
I, remember I don't that. know why he took him out because he was catching fire, man, the other night, man. But he took him out. And that's what he do. He's too loyal to whatever his start lineups are because he wants to finish the game with him. It's like he has a program that he's following, and he ain't going to divert from that motherfucker for nothing. What up, Ball is Life? What's cracking, man? No, this is bro. What's good, Art? What's good, dog? What's up, Ball? Man. Hey, but you know what? Y'all both made a great point. Troy Brown Jr. is the reason the Lakers had that fake comeback. You know how they love making fake comebacks in the fourth quarter. But Troy Brown Jr. hit, what, four or five threes? Yep. There is no excuse why he isn't starting in the game. I don't know if y'all remember the eight and ten. Right, um, when we went eight and ten, when we were healthy, AD was playing amazing or whatever. LeBron and AD were playing with Troy Brown Jr. in on the court. Troy Brown Jr. was in the starting five when we went eight and two. But Darvin him ever since Beverly came back, it's like there's no excuse why Beverly and Schroeder should be starting on the same team. That's terrible, bro. That is terrible. And it always has been because I remember that stretch. And Troy Brown Jr. was in the star lineup with Lonnie Walker. And and he didn't do anything to lose his starting spot besides uh, Dennis Schroeder coming back from his little thumb injury. (laughs) And then when Dennis Schroeder came back, Patrick Beverly was out. So all they did was replace Schroeder with Beverly. Then when Beverly comes back, they take Troy Brown Jr. out the starting lineup. Yep, and then reduce his minutes. What up, David C. Bro? Hey, David C. Bro, you silly as hell. And <laughs> hey, that was classic. Hey, if you know, you know. I don't uh, think he want to bring Russ and uh and Patrick Beverly off the bench at the same time. Probably. Yeah, but you don't have to, man. Some, but uh, one of the words I heard about sacrifice when this team came together. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't really seen none of that for real. I've seen a lot of entitlement. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of names getting a lot of minutes because they are names, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember even when the preseason was coming out, uh, Austin Reeves, was it Austin Reeves or was it Lonnie Walker who who had a great preseason and everybody was like, yeah, that's that's the starter? No, I think it was none. Was it none? Yeah, it was Kendrick Nunn because he had like three 20 point games in the uh preseason. So because they were like it's supposed to be Nunn and uh Damian Jones with Russ AD and LeBron. But the, no, but they did say Reeves was playing great, so he'll be considered for starting minutes. Man, and and we ain't get to see none of them niggas start. Nope. But hey, and we and, and speaking of none, we ain't talk about none, none. You hear me? <laughs> what up, son? Hey, see, and that's the problem, right? I know none hasn't been playing well, but at least people will respect him when he's shooting the open three. They don't respect Patrick Beverly out there. So, and then, like I said, with Juan Toscano, and he he's a terrible offensive player. But at least he plays defense. At least he's tall. At least he's athletic. He'll get rebounds and play good defense. But Darvin Ham, hey, Darvin Ham might be a, a questionable coach. You got to hit that, bro. Definitely. That nigga suck, bro. Definitely. Definitely. And there's another Definitely. thing I don't get, Art, about nigga talking about LeBron raising the floor, bro. Like, 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 talk to me, bro. Talk to me, bro. Talk to I'm me, like, please. I'm about to see it, bro. Ron passed to somebody and they missed it. How can he raise the floor if these niggas missing wide open shots that he's getting them, bro? Yeah, like, how is that possible, dog? He can't raise the floor no more. Of course he can't because these niggas stuck to the floor. <laughs> the <fuck? laughs> That's the call of the day. What up, Slick? He say Brian can't raise the floor because these niggas stuck to it. They stuck to it, my nigga. This nigga be doing niggas be getting these niggas wide open shots, bro. And they don't hit them. Yup. Because people kept saying LeBron used to facilitate in Miami, Cleveland. He's doing the exact same thing except Miami and Cleveland had shooters. Had yeah. shooters, bro. Ever a time where before LeBron came to LA, he didn't at least have two snipers on the court with them 
Sometimes in bro, Cleveland, bro. he would have like five people that could shoot. Bro, this shit terrible, dog. Bonafide. I remember the starting lineup was uh Chris Bosch, uh Shane Battier, LeBron James, uh D Wade, and Mario Chalmers. Mario, hey Mario used to Mario can shoot threes. <laughs> uh uh Chris Bosch can shoot threes because he got good at shooting threes. And Shane Battier because definitely was a sniper. And then yep. and then when that when that sniper went to the bench. Ray Allen came in was another sniper. When when Ray Allen went to the bench, Mike Miller came in. That was another sniper. I'm just like, hey man, you know what, bro? He, hey, you know who else was a sniper that came in for like two, three minutes a game? James Jones. When yeah. James Jones came in the game, he did not miss a three. Big three facts. point shooting champion, man. Big facts. Man, and look, and look, look. Okay, that shit was true all the way until 2020. Yep. Because as good as the three point shooters was in Miami, my favorite was the ones he had in Cleveland, bro. <laughs> Shannon yeah. Fry, Shannon Fry, and uh Richard Jefferson, bro. <laughs> Nigga, J.R. Smith. <laughs> Smith. <J.R. Smith. laughs> hey, Iman Shumper. Iman Shumper, Kyle Corver, bro. Come yeah, on, bro. Bro. Come on, bro. Man. Even Darren Williams was hitting threes in 2018. Come on, bro. Like, bro, he don't have that no more, bro. That nigga got Russell Westbrook, ugly cuz, and Dennis Schroeder on the court with him at the same time. Patrick Beverly. That's ugly cuz. On the same <laughs> time. Right now, yeah, that's who on the court, bro. The fuck, man? Man, no, 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 no. Man, come on, man. I don't give a damn what nobody say, bro. This nigga can't raise the floor with that bullshit. He said, hey, he said Dejan was uh the uh say Kyle Coral was LeBron's best shooter. Maybe just like pure shooter, just like shooting threes. Oh, uh, that's a good one. I don't know. Ray Allen. We didn't even say we didn't even say Kyrie Irving. From what, you know what I'm saying? Man, shooters everywhere in second, you know what I'm saying? That second go round in Cleveland. That's yep. it. But Kyle Corbin, I don't know, man, because this ain't like Shannon Fry hit every goddamn three he took. Man, dude, he had motherfucking shooters, bro. And even Bonafide Richard, shooters. Richard mm-hmm. Jefferson, even he was, what, 40 years old? He was still yeah. knocking out the corner threes. Big facts. Hey, big facts. And three he probably was the worst three-point shoot out of everybody. Norris Cole. We forgot about Norris Cole. We was talking about yep. Brad Day. Norris yeah. Cole. Yeah. He can shoot threes, too. Man, bro. I'm talking about. I even remember, like, in 2020 when we had like Queen Cook. You know what I'm saying? Coming in to clean up games, those niggas used to go crazy from three. Just be like, hey, when the starter sat down back then, bro, and niggas came in like the second go round in Cleveland was just shooting threes for no fucking reason, putting niggas away. That shit was fun, bro. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you know who? You know what shooter I like, but I thought was underrated. Ben McLemore. I don't think people love McLemore like that in LA. They didn't. We was a bad team. Just like we uh what's his name? Uh Matthews. Yeah, Wesley Matthews. Yeah, we had a lot of little niggas back then too. But uh, Matthews was ter- he I mean, he was just terrible in LA. He couldn't make the side of a uh side of the backboard. He couldn't hit the side of the backboard. Hey bro, that French fry lamp in LA get hot, boy. Yeah, yeah. do it. Hey, and that's all the more reason why you keep some niggas who can shoot. You don't let them go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You win the title with some niggas who can shoot in L.A., and then all of a sudden them niggas can't shoot no more because they somewhere else. What up, one cool P? How you doing? He said Danny Green forgot how to shoot him in the bubble. Yeah. Well, no, not for real. Because I promise you, he probably still shot about 36 37%. You just talking about that shot he had in um in the finals, nigga. I don't know. Our, hey, Danny Green was questionable in the bubble. He was good all season long, but in that bubble, he was very questionable. Man, I don't remember him doing that bad. Because I remember it used to be Rondo KCP closing in the backcourt. I mean, closing in the backcourt because mm-hmm. Danny Green didn't deserve to be on the floor in the fourth quarter. 
But in the one year in 2020 when LeBron didn't have shooters, they had big, they had centers and power forwards who could get all the rebounds. Yeah. It's almost like it's almost like you know, you had players on your team who was good at doing something, so you let them fucking do it. <laughs> and yeah. over hand with over hand, oh, trying to make trying wow. to make trying to make players who don't fit into what he's doing, you know what I'm saying? Do it. And this is this ridiculous. But that's why teams like this can come in or we gotta go to their house and they could beat our ass because shit, we are an easy team to take advantage of. What's good, book image? She said, man, we took Green and KTP for granted. Look at us now. Yep, and I would add Kuzma to that list as well. Bro, we the only team that has one scoring option, bro. Yep. Literally one. That's fucking crazy. And if that God forbid he has an offshoot night. Right. Like now, this nigga go out the game. And they're about to run away with this shit. But you know, at least in this lineup, the, he has two guards with all forwards. But why can't he play this lineup with LeBron on the court when you actually have a score? Then they got the scan on the game early. Huh? Yep. Troy Brown and Gabriel. Now, now let's see, because I remember when 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 we was uh going on that eight and two streak, you was talking about Bob wasn't winning. Gabriel playing good too. Yep, it was hit because he had Gabriel and Thomas Bryant coming off the bench too. I don't know if you remember that little tandem. Now that was I towards. Remember, the- I, I, I remember Gabriel getting minutes because Thomas Bryant wasn't back yet. Because Thomas yeah. Bryant came back the same as old boy did, right? Yeah, you no, nah, you're right. You're right. It was it was Gabriel um and AD cuz I don't yeah, cuz I was mm-hmm. like y'all just going to leave AD out there by his damn self. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about the news, bro? We got two more weeks to AD come back, bro. That's actually great. I think that's actually great news cuz well, obviously it's not great news cuz you want AD back as soon as possible, but I saw reports saying it could be 2-3 months, but those were probably people lying on the reports. So mm-hmm. if AD comes back in two weeks, that's good. But if the Lakers are are sticking to what they said about not making any trades till the trade deadline, we the season is over with. If they have made a trade like now and AD comes back and you say AD plays great or whatever, they get clicking, they might be able to make that play-in spot. But mm-hmm. it's too late. If they wait till the trade deadline. Oh, bro, why are you dribbling and fucking dribbling and dribbling? They shoot, bitch. You know what I seen after watching all that footage I got today, ball. I was uh they did they did it every year. Every year LeBron's been here. Yeah. Every single year, you know what I'm saying? Where it might be a trade coming up in the offseason, they don't make it. You know what I'm saying? Or it might be a trade coming up towards the trade deadline, they don't make it, they push it back. They always want to see how the team is doing. And if the team they wait to see if the team is a failure to try to see if they could to just to say no, we're not gonna help it. It's a word. It's a word. Oh my fucking you. god, bro! You know what I'm but I know they do that shit every year, bro. And you oh, can argue. stupid fucking dumb shit, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, dog? What you see, bro? Atlanta first. Russ come down and shoot a goddamn three. Damn near twenty nine foot three. Mm. Why I don't know. Atlanta turned the ball over. Russ get the ball back. He turned the ball right back over. Damn. These niggas, man. Ah, man, these niggas. Everybody shooting threes. Everybody breaking threes. Hey, man, that's what's up, man. Hey, you know what? They still allowed 33 <laughs> points in the first quarter. 33 to 23. We didn't, definitely didn't win the first quarter. T. Killer, say fucking Russ. You know what I'm saying? So, Niggas talking about benching Russell Westbrick already. Well, he said by the time AD come back, we're going to be 15 games under 500. That is ridiculous. So, hey. And, and, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I was just gonna say one more thing. If I was the Lakers, bro, I wouldn't look at it like that because of the money strap that they chose to put themselves in with the Russell Westbrook trade. They one of their options is to make deals through trades. You know what I'm saying? If they say you get somebody right, they might not help your team this year, but what if they can help your team next year? What if it's somebody that you can get now that you won't be able to get in the offseason because somehow you're only going to have $30 million to spend? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's smarter ways to do this shit, bro. So but go ahead, Bob. Not just two quick things. I don't know if you remember when uh Russ was playing on this 10-game stretch where he was just playing phenomenal, right? Mm-hmm. We were like trading while his trade value is high, right? But then people were like, oh, oh, no, 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 Russ, it'll work. Why are y'all hating? Russ is going to do well. He's going to win six men of the year. Now that he's playing bad, his trade value has gone back down. Secondly, you're right. Why hasn't the Cam Reddish trade been done already? Literally, Cam Reddish is getting no playing time in New York. If the Lakers just give up two second-round picks with none, the deal should be done with, according to the reports on New York side. They want two second-round picks for Cam Reddish or something like that. He's a young player who can, who you could build your, not build your team around, but be a core in your team built it for the future. But, I mean, they're making no they scary, bro. They real scary. Cause, but like I said, when I was watching all these damn videos, because I don't know if you heard earlier, bro, I got a video coming, bro, with, with, with just all the clips of them niggas talking about Brian and what they was going to do for Brian. And I was hey, show them, show how niggas, how I'm going to show niggas how they failed them, nigga. Mm-hmm. But through all them clips I was watching, bro, it was a trade. He was sitting there making a trade or making a pick. I'm sorry, a draft pick. And he was so scary. He was so timid. And it was just like a little punk ass second round pick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he is really, really not a good gym for real. Damn, bro. This nigga was averaging 28 points, 12 boards, two blocks, and almost a steal and a half a game, bro. Yup. Now he was going crazy. He was going crazy. And if it is only a what, a three-week injury, a three-and-a-half-week injury, why wouldn't you make a trade? Because you know y'all fucked up. I, they using it as an excuse, Bob, and that's the shit that's pissing me off. They using it as an excuse. They was like, oh, okay, Anthony Davis out a few weeks. We, we're not going to do anything. The season is over. I know the rest of the team we put together is trash. But, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, and – that's because even they were making excuses. They said, first of all, we want to see if AD's still that guy, right? Then during AD's, what, 30 and 15 uh, rebound game stretch, there was a report that said, all right, we'll really judge him after Thanksgiving. Then they said, wait till Christmas. Then it was, okay, wait till January 15th so we could trade the people we signed. Now it's, okay, wait till the trade deadline. It's, it's been all excuses this whole year to not make trades. Yeah, and that's why people use words like sabotage and and and, stupid and all kind of shit. So it's just be it's the it's the unwillingness to do anything, you know. Especially when I seen that report talking about they don't want to compound on more mistakes. <laughs> I see. Oh my god! I mean, y'all been fucking up this whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's- And you can't argue if Magic Johnson never pushed hard to bring Anthony Davis over, that trade probably wouldn't have gotten done. No, it almost didn't get done. Remember what happened between Magic and uh, Will Demps? Or Will yeah. Will Rock? yeah, that was crazy. Dude, and I'm getting fired. He said, Russ is the second best player on the Lakers. Yeah, that's that delusional shit you was talking about, Bob. It's like right there, bro. Yeah. Oh no, but he he's been trolling. I think since the first stream, he's been trolling. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him for always coming, giving you a like and a view. So nigga Brian going to the Magic City tonight, nigga. <laughs> Happy birthday, nigga. <laughs> what up, Skywalker, bro? He say smooth big white man is joke. Joker Russ. He called him a joker. <laughs> 
Hey, but you know what? I remember when we was first finna get Russ, and we was like, oh, man, with Brian and AD go to the bench, man, he can make the team look like he did and he, when he was with the Thunder, man. That, oh, we was going crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, that shit didn't work. It did not work at all. And even we were like, okay, if LeBron and AD miss games, we could have Russ and we still win games. That didn't work. Mm-hmm. Because Russ still want to do too much, bro. Yep. Shit. Like, you know it's bad when you take Russ out. Normally you could be happy, but then you bring in Patrick Beverly. So it's just like a lose-lose. You don't want to see any of them on the court. Oh, these niggas shooting all these trees that are hitting the front of the damn rim, bro. <laughs> That is that is fact. I thought the same thing to myself. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Every last one of them, dog. Yeah, hey, Reeves proving you right right now. Uh, he had a horrible last game. I was trying to get one it. assist. That's it, yeah, and like a two. bunch of turnovers. Yeah, a bunch of turnovers. He had one assist, zero points. Everything else was zero. He played like 20 minutes. What up, brother? Oh, salute, brother. What's cracking? Seem like we playing with our food today, man. The Lakers, man, just going to come out, try to give it a valiant effort, you know. But, yeah, we're a bad team, man. You know, they might score 60 in the first half. Yeah. I didn't realize this. You said what? I said that's a typical game because that's a typical lineup. How like I don't like I said earlier. How many times you got to get hit upside the head before you realize that that this team is? Oh Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, help me please, help me fucking please, bro. Oh Roscoe. Oh my God, bro. (laughs) It's too easy to score, ain't it though, bro? It's Bro, this oh my god, bro. It's easy. <laughs> Once again, this man has sat here and passed the ball to open damn people and they done missed the shot, bro. Nigga Patrick Beverly suck, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he sucked. He just uh, he just had he just held the ball to dribble 15 seconds for a step back corner three and couldn't he shoot suck, it. Suck, bro. You seen that you seen that what he said about Chris Paul? <laughs> This nigga wondering about what Chris Paul didn't do as a Clipper, but nigga, you over here supposedly, uh, the Lakers supposed to be making the playoffs with you, nigga. We ain't nowhere near that, nigga. Yeah, I would have traded. Hey, I would have traded him just for that. Pussy <laughs> ass, nigga, worrying about Chris Paul and what he did in the Clippers. Oh, I took, I took him to the Western Conference Finals. He didn't do that. Him and Blake Griffin, you was a bitch. Yeah, that was nigga, your shit. team getting throttled, nigga, every night, nigga. You worrying about Chris Paul, nigga. Mm-hmm. Pussy ass nigga. Can't stand these niggas, man. These niggas don't deserve to put on a Lakers uniform. Nigga. Like the Lakers just be in the playoffs. Guaranteed. West Coast Finals. Nigga oh, weak. God, I said, I, I I remember saying that day, please don't get this nigga back. <laughs> oh man. I'd rather have THT back, man, for real. That's the only nigga that capped more than ball his life, nigga, is uh, Pat Bev, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) And that's another thing that's annoying, right? They traded THT for Patrick Beverly when you could have traded THT for a protected first-round pick from Toronto and then use that pick since you worried about the two picks for your future and make the trade. So then you would have had three first round picks instead of two because they acting like they they're scared to trade one first round pick because someone in twenty twenty seven, a fifth grader now will make a difference to your organization. Yeah, that's how we know that they're not really invested in making a, a quality team towards the end years of LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Because it's starting to be obvious now when it's getting year by year. Okay, y'all can't keep pushing and pushing this court down the road because the road is finna come to a fucking end. 
<laughs> they're blatantly driving the car in a flat tire. They are singing "Although We Come to the End of the Road" by Boys. <laughs> yes, them, them niggas Flintstone in that motherfucker. <laughs> you know, motherfucker, like it's a goddamn. And the thing is, they acting like it's a casket. They carrying a casket or something, nigga. That's a fucking Ferrari out there still, and they act like them motherfuckers with flat tires, bro. Oh man. <laughs> Magic threw their ass under the bus, though, nigga. Man, I got some magic shit, too, bro. Hey, magic went in on them, bro. Magic told the whole story, and I got it, too. <laughs> See, that's why I don't never say nothing about whose fault it is, because to me, at the end of the day, bro, I don't give a damn who on that team, bro. It's up to the front office to make them final decisions, bro. And them niggas been sucking ever since 2020. Man, oh, man. And magic let motherfuckers know that nigga. You got too many hands in the pot that's trying to do too many things, and that that Botox looking bitch, she don't know what's going on. Man, fucking asshole. <laughs> oh my God. Patrick Beverly's out there getting ran and round in circles, bro. Yeah, Murray eating his ass up. That's why I can't stand, bro. He like he hit a three, right? And he went right back down there and immediately he got cooked by, by Murray. On, on, <laughs> on a simple pump fake and he had him running around. This nigga get happy when he makes shots, nigga. Oh god, bro. I'm a little bit behind. I'm at the uh six thirty five <laughs> mark. This nigga court. got this nigga got cement boots though, nigga. <laughs> He said Pat Bev is so underrated, man. You, yeah, you right, ball. That nigga do be just be trolling. Yeah, yeah. since day one, since your first video, he's been there trolling. And I just remember him because of that uh, Kevin Durant. Um, what is it called? I can't even think right now. He's Lakers. Lakers making my head hurt. I gotta stop watching them play. Man. You got to do something. Come on, bro. Yeah. Let's keep it 100. Yeah. You watch the niggas play for one reason, bro. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. We got to Only one reason. What's the word? What the, what the, what's the word they use in the military, Dolph? Car, 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 car mentalize? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Car, car, I can't fucking say it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I think it's car mentalized, I think. Something like that. Some shit like that, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... It's like it's like you know what I'm saying. If you were like a Magic fan or something, you know your team ain't gonna fucking win, but you still yeah. watch their games. Yeah, you find a reason. Yeah, you watch the game knowing what you're going into. Yep, they watching for Pablo, not Pablo. What's his name? I said Pablo. <laughs> Pablo. They really, yeah, Pablo. They got a nice rookie. Yeah. And, and Bo Bo be down there getting buckets. Hey, Bo Bo looking nice this year. He, I mean, I think this is the first time he's been healthy and, and getting playing time. But he's looking nice. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, no, I don't want no damn Bo Bo neither. Nope. And I don't know what happened to Jonathan Isaac. He's been out for almost two, three years since the bubble. Yeah, it might be a Brandon Roy situation. Yeah, you know, if they ain't gonna, if they're not forced to um, say what's his full extent of his injury, they ain't gonna tell us. Carp compartmentalize, my nigga. <laughs> oh, they got the All Star. <laughs> <sighs> yep, we just gotta put one in one box and put the other shit in the other box. You hear me? My nigga Bang, what up, nigga? He said this shit is dokey. I know, man. We can't. Hey, we got it. We hey. It yeah. really is, though. It really fucking is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, these, we got more energy than these niggas. <laughs> the fuck? Just, 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 bro. I seen that, but I think he's just sitting on the bench. I don't see nobody. Uh, I ain't see nobody like you know what I'm saying attending to him. 
Oh, he he might be all right. Who that? Trey Young. They don't see. need him. They don't need him. Yeah, they don't, man. He might be out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Ain't, ain't no need to waste them. You know what I'm saying. He's they at this. Hey, he's at this. Yeah, what up, NBA talk? He said, "I'm not even watching. Just here for the show." <laughs> you know what? Yep, because the uh the fake fourth quarter comeback is going to be great. Hey, oh, man. Hey, the Lakers might be the best fourth quarter team. In the league, all those fake comebacks they make when they're down twenty and stuff—it's crazy. Boy, 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 boy! I have LeBron. I walk off the court on these niggas. <laughs> hey, cause it's too easy to score, bro. So many bricks. That's facts. What up, Kai? If Brian lose on his B day, I know that's gonna be tragic. You know. Can't lose on your birthday, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Got 52 people watching, man. I need 52 likes. Hit that like button for your boy, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, you can lose on your birthday when niggas ain't celebrating with you. I know. Weak ass nigga. Because somebody's supposed to come out there and be like, I'm going to have a game on Brian's birthday. Weak ass niggas, bro. No, nah, they want Brian and you're 20 to have a game on his birthday again. Fuck, bro. Not just on his birthday. Every night. <laughs> mm-hmm. They want LeBron James to be spectacular every night just to win. I hate the way Dennis shoot a shoot. Yeah. I don't that even care that shot went in. I don't even care that shot went in. I hate the way dude shoot, bro. That nigga, that nigga shoot like a German. Especially. <laughs> Fuck uh, out of here. He said, get off the 50 likes. 50 people here, man. We need 50 likes. You got a 10-point game, man. For every like I get, bro, they're going to they gonna cut the lead in half, man. So, <laughs> I'm like so, man. <laughs> Got to sell it somehow, man. God, do. <laughs> man, so we going to – so, it's already comeback time, huh? Beginning yep. of the middle of the second quarter. I think yeah, come back us... Sunday and hope they went on Sunday, nigga. <laughs> he said, "Come back." Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. What up, Crocker? <laughs> Shout out the nigga Luke <laughs> Brown, man. You a real one, bro. Yeah, he's definitely the hardest working moderator on you. Moderator on you. Yes, sir. <laughs> bro. Yes, sir. Bro. Check your YouTube. Check your YouTube. Check your YouTube. I'm gonna check your YouTube, YouTube, sir. Check your YouTube. Panel etiquette, sir. Hey, who was that, man? That was, that was bad. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, we the 10 points behind team, bro. We always 10 damn points behind. Hey, do you still hear, nigga? No, sir. No, uh, sir. What up? Yeah. Man, this shit. Yeah. Still. You still here? Damn. I don't, it ain't even on. I cut it off. He said, I hear. All right. Is it gone? Are oh, you muted now? Are oh, you muted now? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never had a You ain't never had a man. What you doing, bro? Hey, I ain't. I'm just on my phone, bro. Oh, okay. Okay. I ain't, I don't use my phone often, bro. This damn gang, he's still bro. here. Gang, bro. He's still here. Yep. Yep. Can God you pause damn. it? Can you, you pause, pause it before you? Pause you, before you, before you no, all right. I'm, I'm going to come back then. Yep. Clear the screen. You got to clear the YouTube screen. Oh, my God. Oh. It's still 10 points, Dolph. It's still only 10 points, bro. We Nigga, it'd be 10 points every game we play. I know. It's until the third quarter. And then he go to 20 and 30, dog. You know what I'm talking about, dog? Like, come on, dog. We got to have some kind of hope going into halftime, bro. No, they got to give us hope. Man, we got to take hope. No, we can't take it. I'm tired of having hope for these niggas that don't have hope for themselves. Brian's going to drop 30 again. Them shoes he got on is tight. Yep. 
Hey, we should all sue the Lakers for emotional distress. We could probably uh, win those. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, what? Yeah. We'll get $157 a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'll take it. You hear me? I'll sign my name on, on that uh, class action lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, I will take it, nigga. Hey, if that well, happens, Jeannie Bus will go bankrupt. Because isn't she the um lowest net worth uh, owner in the league? Um, uh, it's complicated. When you get married, you know what I'm saying. They could buy incomes like oh, yes. family, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the bomber family, you know what I'm saying. When they when they tell you Steve Bomber's wealth, that's his family's wealth. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Him and him and his wife. You know his wife's got billions too. Oh, okay. Just like the Walton family, not the motherfucker that own Walmart. Stan Cronky, you know who Stan Cronky is? Stan Cronky, you no, know, I haven't heard that name. He's the owner of the Rams. You know what I'm saying? His wife is 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 the is the heiress of it to a Walmart, the Walton family. So oh. he got he got he got super billions, and she got like super. Super billions. Yeah. So she's rich. She ain't she ain't that rich. So she married, she married a millionaire, not a billionaire. But I'm surprised because I would have thought that Dr. Bus left all that money. Well, for the family, of course, but she would still have some of that share. I mean, because he wasn't hey. She does like well, like when y'all say that, like what do y'all mean by that? Like, like where did she take a hit at besides her getting married to make y'all say that she's not you know well I just know it says she was like her net worth was like a, a nine hundred million dollars. Wait, let me see. That's actually, yeah, oh shit, that's higher than I've ever seen it before. Oh, never mind, it's at five hundred million now. Okay, because I was gonna say because I, I remember um her net worth has not hasn't really been, you know what I'm saying, super duper because she really is like really just the Lakers and she got her outside business ventures, but it ain't that much. She just ain't got the billions all these other niggas got. Mom and pop spots, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's kind of sad that LeBron has double her net worth. Stop looking at the motherfucker cutting through the lane, you dumb fuck. <laughs> He hey, go! No, they might need you on the bench. He left that back door open. <laughs> you might have to light a these fire. Niggas, these niggas weak, ball. These niggas weak, dog. <laughs> these niggas weak, dog. Eight, eight, eight point game. What up, Braxton? Why you think it's an eight point game, Mark? LeBron in the game. No, he in the game. Oh, That's what I said. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's the only one scoring shit. All right, man. It, it seemed like it. The other oh, team. Look at this. Just... You know what? All right. Okay. Well, All right. Oh, fucking K, okay, bro. You niggas is stupid as shit. I want to punch on all you niggas. I can't wait to see what happens. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas, dumb as uh, shit. Dennis Schroeder. Come on, Dennis Schroeder. Bro. Come on, bro. bro. You cannot do that. That little underhand bull uh, pass is, is, is lazy as hell, bro. That nigga, was... we, made, oh, we made better passes than that in PE, nigga. Yeah. They taught, you, they taught them better than that. And in the game where we down double digits trying to bring it with under 10, you can't do stupid passes like that, bro. That dude was an easy dunk layup. Still dunk. I mean, yeah. Hey, hey, that's what that that's what bad players do, man. Dennis Schroeder ain't shit, man. That's hey, what I'm saying, really bro. Like what Dennis these Schroeder niggas be thinking about, shit. though, Art? Every you time like you look at the bench, oh, every time you look at the bench, Phil Handy looks like he's having a headache. He always has his head down with his hands on his head. Because Phil looking at like these niggas ain't doing shit. I showed them in off season. <laughs> <laughs> he should have taken the job. He didn't want it though. Well, he didn't want. He didn't want to take it after they fired Vogel mid season. And 
I always happen. LeBron go out, niggas get double digits on this man. That shit trash. Hey, y'all remember when Jenny said that she that, that uh, the Lakers wasn't done yet? You talking about done making move? Yeah, right before the season. Yeah. Yeah. Did she say that live? Did she say that live or did she say that like in a, like a newspaper article, like a a, a a written down interview? Wasn't she on the interview saying that or something? I tried to look for it today so I can include it in my video, but I couldn't find it. But I did, but I, I only thing I could find was people reading it from something. So I don't know if it was like for a magazine or maybe, a, you know what I'm saying, a, a reporter from ESPN. Maybe it was just something written for the internet. Like known as sports, man. What's up, bro, man? Hey, I appreciate the sub, bro. Real shit, man. He said, he said, oh well, true. Did you did you look? Um, you saw the clip of Rob Palenka saying we'll trade the first round picks. I definitely we, got that in there. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. I definitely got that in there. I definitely, <laughs> I, I went, I, I went in order, bro. And guess, and guess, oh, I found the dope ass first clip. You remember when the when Brian signed his contract? <laughs> you know what I'm saying with, with with Rich Paul and Rob Palenka right there. Yep. I got that clip. That's a, that's my over the clip. I started from the beginning and I tracked all what these niggas said. You know what I'm saying? Rob Palenka, Magic Johnson, Jenny Buss. You know what I'm saying? Through the management, throughout the years. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be fire. I don't even know what I'm going to name and shit. Let's go, Brian. Hey, man, you know what, man? Brian got to win every game. Dolph, right? He is our only scoring option. Only one, bro. Yeah, if it ain't him, it ain't no damn body. These niggas, it's going to be another one of those games where Brian has 35 and other niggas going to have like 9, 7, 8. Brian going to have a triple-double tonight. You know what I'm saying? And right, and the niggas still ain't going to score more than 10 points. What up, spiritual younger man? St. Louis stand up, man. What's cracking in this bitch, man? <clears throat> got to make another comeback, y'all. Let me see what other clip I got. I got... um. <laughs> Cause you know they talk, <clears throat> they talk a lot of shit during their media days. You know what I'm saying. But if you, I found some other shit in in between the time, so I'm gonna look for that shit again. At the, and the one, I, I'm gonna do one more clip, and it's probably gonna be magic when he was talking about how Rob Palenka got on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Come on, Brian. Don't get up in the air like that for that bullshit. Cause I was trying to. I was a ball. It's like I promise, bro. I was trying to make it a short, <clears throat> but it was. Yeah, I, it was just so much shit. I it was too much God. evidence. It was too much evidence that they have failed, LeBron, bro. I don't know what I'm gonna. I'm gonna call the video. Why the Lakers failed, LeBron? Yeah, that sounds appropriate. Here's why. And if I didn't hear, oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if I didn't hear Palenka's interview before, like before when he said he'll trade the first round pick since LeBron committed, I wouldn't have been mad. I would have been like, okay, y'all just y'all just chopped this up at a, as a last season of LeBron and AD. But he made he went out his way to say LeBron committed to us, so we don't care about the picks. We will trade. We will do what's best for the team. And to help LeBron James, but okay. yep, I got that in there too. He he was like he was like the, he was sitting there. He was like he, he said he I, I got on both thanking Brian for signing both extensions both times. <laughs> <laughs> he was like bro because he signed the extension. He was so detrimental to the team. We're gonna do whatever it takes. Like, oh my god, this shit is gonna be epic. But it's a five point game, man. So let's go like show, man. They got sixty four people, man. In the in the thing, man. I need sixty four likes, man. Hit the but hit the like button. Big or sports, man. You know, it's the like show. Let's go. Hey, Art. My only halftime take is happy birthday to LeBron James. He has eighteen points in the first half. He's doing all he can to build his team. Nah, what eight is here? Hey, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need something a little, a little longer than that. You know what I'm saying? 
because uh, I got I'm going about seventy five people watching now, so <laughs> going up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, you I got tend to go up at halftime, but I will drop the link though. You know what I'm saying? See if my niggas can get back up in here. That nigga bang having technical difficulties. Hey, but but uh, on the low, Patrick Beverly hit two threes. He got ten points. Thomas Bryant got eleven. No. Yeah, on the ball. I guess I was wrong about it. somebody being in double figures. <laughs> Man, fuck Patrick said, Beverly. The only motherfuckers I'm giving props to is Thomas Bryan and goddamn Bryan. <laughs> you That's give the only one I'm giving props to. Because Thomas mm-hmm. Bryan out there playing with energy and effort, just like Bryan is, nigga. That's why he getting all that easy shit he getting. That's why he four for four with nine rebounds, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's one oh my fault. Go ahead. No, nah, you good, ball. Go ahead. Do your thing. I'm just that nigga out there hustling, bro. Now, to your point, that is one thing. One thing about Thomas Bryant, he's never cheated the Lakers energy wise. He's the one person who brings energy every single night. But I just need him to be consistent, being that he's the lone big man that we have that's playing. Yeah. yeah. What's good? That, that, that will piss me off about him. What's cracking with you, Pimpin? Yeah, we need you to be her grease. You know? Love, peace, and her grease, my nigga. And yeah, we've been advocating for Troy Brown, but he got to step up one of four. He He's been playing some minutes too. He got eleven minutes, so I'm coming off the bench already in the first half. But hey, Patrick Beverly, I gotta give a shout out to Patrick Beverly, man. He four or five, two for three from deep. He got two boards, two assists, ten points. Man. Now that nigga getting cooked on defense. And is currently getting cooked on defense. That is true. But the person who's playing the worst by far on the team is Austin Reeves. I I j I'm talking about just on this game. He's one to seven, one to five from three with two turnovers. That's a, hey, a slump right now, dog. He in a straight slump, dog. He yeah. is in a couple games slump. But I mean, but he's a what? A, um, third year player. Yeah. Second. Second Wait, year player. Yeah, he's yeah, a second, second year player. So slumps, slumps is to be expected. Yeah, but as a coach, you can't. If he's struggling like this, you shouldn't be. He shouldn't be playing fourteen minutes in the first half. Because he he was bad since the start of the game, but. Darvin, like you said, Darvin Ham doesn't like making adjustments. So, mm-hmm. who Darvin Ham gonna put in for him? Hey, you right because Troy Brown isn't playing too good. So, I mean, but in Toscano Anderson, man, we need somebody with some size. He's he been in there, but but I but what I'm saying is that with other size, we need people that can stop them from just getting to the rim whenever they want to. Somebody who who don't fall for every ball fake. Patrick Beverly is falling for every ball fake, getting spun around. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a fucking ballerina. I think he got ankle weights on. I'm just saying, man. If I see him turn his back on one more play, go around him, it's gonna be a problem. I look, I still remember him getting cooked by Gordon Hayward. Getting, Gordon Hayward was running around him like he was no problem. Oh, and Charlie, yeah, he was torching him. He was torching him. So I was just like, hey, that's another problem. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna get into it. I'm still gonna ask y'all, man, because shit. It's only a five point game, so I'm not gonna act like it's the end of the world. <laughs> it's not. It's not. But they are. Right, they got to come out in that third man and then bust a move, dog. Well, tell me about it, dog, man. What you like? What you didn't like? And tell me about the move we need to bust in the third quarter. What I didn't like is that once again these niggas missing all these damn shots that LeBron setting them up for. The energy and the energy picked up somewhat, but like I said, it's been it's it's really been Thomas Bryant. Uh, and 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 Brian, as far as energy, like throughout the whole time they've been in the game, Toscano came in and played some good little defense. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, you know, Darvin Ham needs to, you know, needs to try to figure out put these dudes in because he's a big body dude. You got a big body sitting on the bench, dude. I understand Ball say he's not offensive, you know, uh, what you call him, whatever. But dude, it's other things you could do on the court, bro. Everybody don't need to be a scorer, bro. Everybody don't need to be a score. You just do all the little the intangibles, bro. Do that. You know what I'm saying? But they, they don't cut this lead down to five. Like I said, they don't turn that energy up towards the end of the second quarter. 
you know. So we just need to come out with the same mindset as far as energy and effort, bro. That shit always going to work for you, bro, no matter how you cut it, bro. It's going to always work, dog. You yeah. just got to give it, bro. And if you don't give it, you're going to get you're going to get plastered. Period. But yeah. Brian, you need to keep attacking. I see Brian going for like 35 to 40. Yeah. And I see him getting a, getting a win for us on his birthday, man. And, and saying, a triple double. And another triple dub. You know what I'm saying? Getting a win. For his 38th birthday. So, you know, that's what it is. Attack these dudes, bro. Attack them. Your threes ain't falling. Attack. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I heard that, that they was also saying that uh, Darvin Ham, him and Darvin Ham had words because uh, he was trying to fight him on his minutes. You know what I'm saying? Brian was like, I'm playing the amount of minutes I want to, and that's the end of it. So, yeah. I see Brian coming out dominating, but we got to hold down the fort this third quarter. Ball is life. Give me your first half assessment, bro. What you like, what you didn't like, and what this third quarter going to look like. All right. Um. Wow. What did I like about the game? Okay, what I liked about the game was in the second quarter, the team started playing with um defensive energy. Defensive energy in the second uh quarter. I like Thomas Bryant's energy, like Dolph said. He had nine rebounds, 11 points. Thomas Bryant was a major plus in the first half. Patrick Beverly, we give him slack or whatever, still needs to be traded, but he did go two or three from the three-point line. Um, He played well, but I think – it was just LeBron's greatness. He had 18 points in the first half. LeBron James willed that team in and kept them in the game. So my thing in the third quarter, if LeBron James doesn't score 10 points in the third quarter, I think the Lakers get blown out easy, um, get run off the court. If LeBron, if LeBron scores 10 points, I think they could keep it within at least single digits in the game. But – other than that, someone else has to show up with LeBron James on his birthday. I, I don't want to sit up here and say the Lakers are going to win when I don't know for sure. It's, it's hard to give a take. Um, Let's just hope LeBron James does spectacular things, man. Right. Yeah, big facts. And Thomas Bryant, hopefully Thomas Bryant could be the guy to show up with him. You know, he had a good first half. You know what I'm saying? So that was a good take, Bob. I appreciate that, man. What's good, D Bottom, man? What's good, brother? Give me your first half impression, what you like, what you didn't like, and how this third quarter gonna play out. Man, what's going on, Art? Salute everybody up here. Salute to everybody in the chat. How y'all doing? Yes, sir. What's up, Bob? Uh, not much. Um first half, uh, I like Brian. I like Brian's uh assertiveness. Um, even when it seemed like, I guess, we were kind of being stagnant or we were, the game was getting away from us, you saw LeBron uh, attacking the paint. I like that. And um, even though they're not shooting, they're, they're not making a lot, he's getting other players open. And just to piggyback with what Dolph and, um, and Ball is Life has said about Thomas Bryant, you know, he's been playing with uh, – Thomas Bryant has been playing, you know, pretty good tonight. You know, 11 points. You said nine rebounds, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. you know, that, that's 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 what you want from somebody like him. But uh, unfortunately, you know, we got to talk about the other things. Um, turnovers. Uh, right now, I think we got like four or five more turnovers than them. And um, just it's been a couple plays where we've just been real careless with the ball. Uh, we haven't been making a lot of shots. I, uh, I know right now we're asking for, you know, at least one person. I feel like we need two, at least two people to step up and contribute uh, on the offensive end to take a load off Brian. And we got to see in the third quarter, you know, unfortunately, Brian can't play the whole 24 minutes that we have left. He's going to go out. So in, in that time frame, you know, you got to do our margin for error is, you know, very small. We got to make sure uh, we're at least giving some type of effort defensively these guys in the first half, again, they're just one dribble in their mid-range. One dribble when they're shooting the uh, mid-range, they're passing it out to somebody who's open, they're converting on a three-point line. So we got to do something defensively in order to compete any, you know, in, in this game and moving forward, at, you know, period. So, you know, this third quarter is when, again, we really get to see who the Lakers are. So they got to uh, tighten up defensively. They had to start making timely shots. Austin Reeves, I need you to start going, get uh, get going. Westbrook, uh, 
who else we got? And Troy Brown, you know, everybody's been talking about how good he's been shooting in the last few games. You got to pick it up now. So right now, uh, let's just see what happens. Um, I guess I'll be I, I'll be the, the dummy again. I, I, let's see if they can play big. I got them winning this third quarter, but they're going to have to go to and do all the, the intangibles like Doc spoke about earlier. They got to do all that and execute. So uh, don't let them come out. Um, the Hawks come out on a get on a hot streak because they kind of cooled off towards the second, and that was in part due to our defense. But let's keep it going because um, if we if we let them get in a going a scoring run, and we get ourselves in too deep of a hole, I don't see us digging ourselves out. So that, that's my take on it right now. I just want to come up, you know, again. Give my little take. I'm about to hop back off, so I got to watch the uh, game on my phone. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, D-Bond, as always, brother. No thing, man. Y'all make sure y'all get them likes up, share, and subscribe, man. Got a good content over here. I appreciate it, Bidark. Yes, sir. Yo. What's good, spiritual young and man, man? Give me your first half assessment, what you like, what you didn't like, and how this third quarter going to play out, bro. What's good, all right, bro? Athlete. Man. I was gonna say I actually just got back to the crib. I was at the gym. I ain't see the first half, but I'm gonna watch the second half. Uh, I see Brian got 18. Yeah, he had a good first half. Yeah, and y'all, t- I see y'all tomorrow. Pat Bell, that that nigga trash, bro. He he going to feel soon. Yeah, offensively he was good, but defensively he was trash today. So yeah. far. dude. And I see people with Troy Brown, bro. I see that nigga hit one three a game. After that, he can't hit shit up. I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. <laughs> he started off hot this year, but he didn't cool down. Yeah. He's shooting like, like 34, 35% something. So, yeah. yeah, like what the – bro? Yeah, that dude. But yeah, though, man. Like LeBron might drop – I want him to drop 40 on his, on his, on his you know, his beat that day. But if, if, I'm going to tell you something. If, if he see – his team ain't trying. I think dude's just gonna he's just gonna score a quick twenty seven and get out of there again, bro. Yeah, especially we get blue out too bad. I agree with that too. Yeah. It can happen. <laughs> Man, we can see yeah. it happen before. Shit. Real, bro. Like, bro, like and then what Westbrook doing? I ain't I ain't see his stat. What he doing? I didn't I, I didn't even want to read him because I, I didn't I didn't even look at him, but I'm gonna read him. He three for six. You know what I'm saying? Zero for one from three. He got three boards, three assists, two turnovers with six points. Oh, okay, okay. So he ain't doing shit. Right, typical Westbrook, bro. Yeah. It crazy. Yeah, we we ain't gonna hear nobody coming here, special young, talking about six men on the year today. I promise you that. Man, they better not, bro. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> hey, I appreciate that take, man. Good <laughs> shit, bro. Uh-huh. T-Killer, man, give me your first half assessment, bro, what you like, what you didn't like, and are the Lakers going to win the third quarter today? What's going on, Art? What's Crap. going on, everybody? Um, What's the word, bro? I just didn't – I didn't like the the careless passes, like particularly like in the key. Like I like to see him swing the ball a little more and then try to – hit the dude in the middle. Like, there's just a lot of, like, teleported, careless passes that led to, to turnover points, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I think if they can, you know, kind of quell that, they're still what, – what are they, down 10 right now, All right. No, it's a, a three-point game now, currently. The third quarter has started. Oh, okay, yeah. I just looked at my TV. I wasn't even watching. All right, um, yeah, so I just think they just got to chill with the with the dumb passes. Like, uh, you know, it looks like it's going to be a close game. Like, the Hawks aren't really playing any type of unbelievable basketball. So, I think this is a winnable game. Um, do they win the third quarter? I'll say yes, just based off the start. Um, and yeah, you know, Braun's doing what he's doing. I, I just somebody's got to somebody's got to score besides LeBron. I mean, Reeves is having a tough go. Dennis is driving me crazy. I mean, Dennis got to he got to start going to the basket more cuz it's just his shot is just But um yeah, basically just cut down the bad the bad passes, you know. The the leading to turnover points. Yeah. 
I agree with you, sir. We got to do better, especially on defense, you know. Man. Like teleported passes are like that. This is the league. Like everybody's going to see that coming a mile away. And then it's just a fast break layup, you know. And actually, one other thing Atlanta, at least in the first half, was, was getting a way more easy bucket than the Lakers were, I felt like. That was another thing. Like they got to just, you know, law, it's tough without AD, but, you know, you got you to gotta do what you got to do, you know. Yep. Yeah, you got to make adjustments, but. You know, some niggas don't like making adjustments, to killer man. Big facts. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, R-Y-M, what's good, bro? Man, I appreciate you coming up here. Give me your first half assessment, what you like, what you didn't like, and how the third quarter playing out. Man, I like uh, Brian putting up 18 in the first half. That was good. I, mean, I feel like he might have a good game on his birthday. I don't know about this third quarter, though. Well, they really they, – they came back, though. I can't cap. Their first quarter was, was not too good, so they was doing better. And that's why the game close now. So I feel like we'll play good. We'll keep playing good. But I feel like when Brian get out, then we, we might go on a bad run. I, I just feel like that. That seems to be the story of our whole season. In game, you know what I'm saying? Brian go to the bench, the teams run away. That's big facts. But see, especially now, or it's like – this Niggas year. always complain about, oh, Brown don't need to play this amount of minutes, this and that. Bullshit. Yes, he do. I don't give a damn about none of that shit. Nigga. That's like awesome. all the minutes. Nigga, these niggas. Sorry, nigga. Exactly. If he don't play that many minutes, bro, them niggas gonna get blown up by 50. That's my point, my nigga. Like, but niggas always complain. Oh, you too old. Nigga, hell nah. Nigga, that nigga, he want to play them minutes, nigga. That's what I'm saying. If y'all think LeBron don't want to play them minutes, but y'all crazy. Shit, that should be getting on my damn nerves, dog. If he didn't want to play the minutes, yeah, y'all know Brian. That nigga don't listen to no motherfucking coach like that. If you want to play the minutes, that nigga going to not play them motherfuckers. Because that nigga know when he go yeah, off the court, nigga, we stuck, nigga. I, I yeah. agree with you, but I think he would rather, like, if he didn't have to, it's like it's a necessity with the, <coughs> with the team. Of course. Like, if he, he had a squad, if he had a squad, I don't think he'd be wanting to play so much. You know what I'm saying? He that's, wouldn't have to, T-Killer. That, yeah, that's the obvious, though, T-Killer. But now yeah. he has to. Yeah, that nigga got to, bro. What up, Zero? He, ooh. And Schroeder, bro. Oh, hey, bro. Right. Schroeder, that nigga is a shell of him. Schroeder. Yeah, he, he is. Yeah, he, he's yeah, a yeah. display. Like, I think okay, he, was, he was half decent on the shells. Yeah, I think what happened to him uh, two years ago in the Lakers, I think that, I think that must have messed his confidence up or something, bro. Oh, uh, let, 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 let them tell it. He was uh, spectacular over the summer playing uh, basketball, but you know, none of, the, none of that is irrelevant when it don't translate to the NBA. Sorry. Hey, man, this nigga DeJounte, DeJounte Murray shooting the same shot the whole game, bro. Dolph, that's what I've been saying. Easy. It's, it, he's not even try, it, He's not even giving all his energy to get to that spot. It's easy. He get yeah. to that same spot the whole game, bro. With ease. Because he, he could just go around whoever in front of him, and they so short, they're not affecting his shot. Let me make a basketball point for y'all real quick. It's going to take a second. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to listen, man. When we got, like, when you playing defense, the order defense, you know what I'm saying, you get you contest shots, right? Think about contesting shots. When you have somebody playing the same size as you, y'all both 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, or whatever, your contest can be better, especially if your wingspan is longer. You know what I'm saying? Compared to somebody who's 6'2", 6'1", 6'3", who's compared to somebody who's 6'6", 6, 6'7", 6, 6, 6, 8". You know what I'm saying? When they contest, they contest in their chest. You know what I'm saying? That's that's e uh, an easier shot than they have in practice when they're using brooms, when brooms can go up higher. You know what I'm saying? And, so with him, with him continually wanting to play lyrics, four of them at a time, nigga. The, the, ain't no defense. They can play their hearts out, but ain't no damn defense. Go oh, ahead, yeah, I'm done. You right, though, Art. You right. Yeah, no, bro. That's no, that's facts. Hey, how? Hey, y'all seen? Hey, or you seen AD uh, interview today? Yeah, I did. He said y'all niggas better watch out. Oh, yeah, nigga. I heard about this. all you niggas. Yeah. Man, he thinks shit funny, bro. Ain't shit funny. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, but hey, the Lakers organization is funny. So yeah, yeah. I laugh my ass too. <laughs> <laughs> he like, yeah, y'all motherfuckers don't want to make a trade. Yep. All right. I hope LeBron me... leaves, bro. They got to trade my nigga, bro. Man. That's that's gonna be a, this is gonna be a very interesting. I want him to go to. to the yeah, I'll just. You said who? This whole season. Go ahead, YRM. RYM. Wow. Oh, like this whole season for like the Lakers gonna, you know, for real though. See what's gonna happen this season. Then the off season, it's gonna be good. Come on, bro. This nigga is telegraphing passes from the Laker bench to the other side of the court. You niggas just watch the nigga in the corner. Bro, they God damn. I'm talking about, bro. I don't know what the hell happened. Bro, the only reason we within whatever, what, nine points? LeBron's scoring every damn thing, dog. So that's what I said. Who's going to help out? Man, who's going to help out? It's supposed to be Russ. Russ was, yeah. uh, Russ was supposed to answer that question a long time ago. Exactly. Right. We, we, and, 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 and this is another thing. The, the Hawks are in disarray as a franchise. And, man, we can't steal one. We can't steal one, just one game. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, bro. Hey, them niggas not in more disarray than us, Devon. Man, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> That's what I told Art. Oh, what'd you say begins before the game started going? What? About uh Atlanta. What, what, what's that word you use? Atlanta was uh dysfunctional. Dysfunctional, yes. I thought them niggas we less dysfunctional than we are, nigga. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I was like, maybe we could put our dysfunction aside because it's Brian's birthday. But I guess man, you see how Brian walking down that court before that time, our nigga head down, nigga putting his hand out, gesturing, like, man, what the fuck? Hey, if we're being honest, y'all, we we just don't got it as a team, man. <laughs> Not right now with, with man, who we have. Oh no, we being honest, Ebana, and it's <laughs> obvious. We don't got it, man. Bro, that's they ain't gonna have that shit, bro. I'm telling you, there's no hope for them niggas, bro. I'd be surprised, niggas. Somebody had to making two or three threes. Right now, there's no. They ain't gonna make no shots really. in the second half. Weak ass, what, up, what up, what up, what up, Chris Sims, man? What up, James Lane? You know what? I'm glad this game early. Man, that's the only good thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> your mic pop, boy. Somebody sending that Morse code, boy. Yeah, mic. your mic pop. Is that me? Oh, let me hop off, man. I'm gonna I'm holler at y'all later, man. Y'all have a good one. All right, Devon. All right, yep. Hey, Shout out to my nigga D Bonner, man. He a real one, man. For real. Yeah, man. Uh, he the only like of he the only yeah, sure. <laughs> he ain't hating on Brian this year, bro. Well. That's big. I'm tired of, hey, all right. I'm tired of mugs keep saying about this this plus sports. Bro, you really think LeBron really handpicked them niggas, bro? Get the fuck. You think he finna handpick Toscano? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Just because you know his clutch sports don't mean shit, bro. More than anything, he had to let nigga get some bread. He ain't from the tell the nigga, hey, I want you on my team. Man, you ass. Oh, uh, dang. Burning a pet bell, boy. What they talking about? Oh, uh, I see it. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Get his ass. What minute, bro. What minute you? They see the art. All right, what, what minute? What minute Brad, y'all on? I'm at they six twenty right bro. now. They still. Hey, what happened? It should be right before okay. the seven minute mark. Well, they are going to him and him and little, 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 little bit of bad words. I told y'all, but I think he went to the bench, piss, bro. He went to the bench, piss, dog. That nigga piss. Them niggas, sorry, bro. You know LeBron, we, they might feel like he traded, bro. bro. You know LeBron because he he walked down, put his head down, put his hands on his hips. <laughs> yeah, he pissed off. These <laughs> niggas weak, bro. Look in the sky, praying and shit. I'm telling you, bro. bro. These niggas weak, bro. This nigga making hand gestures, head gestures. This nigga garbage. <laughs> <laughs> 
I ain't gonna lie, that dude got patience, bro. Me, I can for the time. I'd be, I, I would have been got kicked off the team. I would have been cursing motherfuckers out here at night. I don't know, I don't know if he has done this yet, but me, I would put all these niggas, just the team, just the players, in one room and call out every last one of these niggas, bro. But dog, we all know that, bro. LeBron is a big sophomore. Like he, his personality ain't even like that, bro. Yeah, wow. he, he goofy. Like LeBron, a funny, yeah, he a he goofy, goofy motherfucker. Well, you know what? I don't yeah, condone not, motherfuckers getting like smacked, him. but he need to pull a Kobe in the motherfucking uh, Michael Jordan right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think he's just like yeah, bro. throwing through the tulips in the locker room after they lose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think he's probably fucking pissed. Man, hey, sock these bro. niggas up, bro. Bro, uh, I'm one, t- hey, one cool piece say when Brian opt out. He got one more year. He can either at the end of this year, request a trade because he got one year after this year before he can ask for an op out one cool P because he signed a two year or three year deal with a with a player option on, on the end. What up, what up, nine thousand? He said Kobe said take his shoes off. Looking at it. <laughs> hey, them shoes Brian got on right now. Low key lie though. They colorway. Oh, that's what I said. I said I do like them <laughs> shoes. Hey, or right, why your boy A D? Why he keep running low? I think he need to switch that up, bro. I know. I know, and I and, and look, and I want to say this year. I thought he was wearing some bronze or something. Then he switched it up a little this year. Nah, he been wearing bronze for like a yeah. He was game. wearing LeBron. Yeah. Nah, I thought he was wearing Kobe's yeah. for hell. Then he switched it up this year to, no, to uh, bronze. Have bronze but it was still, season, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, yeah, like the previous year, he was wearing Kobe. Yeah, he was wearing Kobe. Uh, for like yeah, but years. but this season he be wearing them new bronze because Brian dropped his new yeah. bronze this year. But look yeah. though, Art, look, he didn't start wearing LeBron's until Brian became low tops, bro. Some wrong with AD with that shit, bro. Like you see them shoes, bro. I agree. I always wanted him to wear more supportive shoes. I, you know I mean, what I'm saying? Like, you got to know your body. You know what I'm saying? I never understood that. Like, I, what happened to the high tops? Like, uh, you hey, just Derek, don't roll your ankles. Hey, Hold on, Tico. Hey, Derek Henry, man. AD coming back in two weeks, bro. So you can you can uh piss a fit for two more weeks, nigga. Go ahead, uh, T. Killer. No, I was just saying about the high, like across. I'm not even just saying exclusive on uh, hey, yeah, I'm talking about the whole league. Like, it just seems like is that like a speed thing or something? Like, seem like everybody yeah, wears the the mids or the lows. Yeah, you you actually run you 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 lighter on your feet with low tops. Yeah, it was it was after my time, okay. T Kill, because I've never ever seen nobody wear a low. Yeah, yeah, like playing basketball, like I played yeah. ball. But yeah, because I yeah, actually, yeah. it's crazy to me, but yeah, bro, because I see actually... stupid shit like you'll fall out your 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 shoe will fall off while you cutting to the basket, stupid shit like that. Hundred <laughs> percent. I ain't gonna count. Yeah, because I actually hoop though, but low top shoes but... will keep you lighter than high tops. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. No, that's why I asked, bro. Like you know, I really wanted to know, like. For real though, I don't know why it's interesting. It, you, yeah, it just must have just laid on you. Yeah, I, I understand because every, everybody's so good. Hey, the out, league hey. is so fast. Shout out to the hundred people. Ahead, watching. Yeah, this watch Shout out to the hundred people Kobe watching. Man. I need a hundred likes, man. Hit hit that like button for your boy, man. Welcome to Big Art Sports, man. This is what you got. Let's go. Go ahead, T. Kill. Spice up for my nigga, man. No, I was just talking about the speed of the league is just different now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's. You think about it, even the shoe is different, like so. Yeah, I was just, I was just, you know, I'm just smoking, thinking. Like that, that's it. You know? I, I, I don't think it seems it's like you get injured scale. more. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think it's as grand scale as we think we is because I, I know it's players that still wear regular hot tops. Yeah, no, I'm not because I'm, I'm watching the game. Like, uh, not everybody got them on. High top of me, like low top sneakers. These are high tops of me. Yeah, like, but I would even be, uh, but see, with with, see, it, at least with a mid. normal player, with a normal player, I wouldn't mind mids, right? Always high tops, but with a normal player, I wouldn't mind mids. But if you got a body like Anthony Davis and you know, like say a Steph Curry, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Steph Curry ever wore yeah. lows a day in his life. Cause he know, cause he know it's he his own legs, and he got the little bracelet. He'd have the straps what on up, too, like Trey Young too. Yeah, he he make. Hey man, tell that black rep to stop cheating with his motherfucking Cookie Monster looking ass. Oh shit! <laughs> but we coming back though. We get closer. 
And Brown yeah. on the bench, so that's a good. That's a good sign. Shit, no, that's not. That she gonna come back and hunt our ass. We playing good stand. defense, though. I can't stand Patrick Beverly, oh, bro. Cool. I was somebody. I was Brown with a punch him in his fucking face. That's what I'm saying. That nigga's a bum, bro. He did all that talking. Him, he did all that talking in the summer. Now look at his bitch ass. He said, he said, what you going to do if you go to the Lakers? Are we going to the playoffs? Yeah. Then Tom Olsen, I ain't playing with LeBron AD. They playing with me. I made the playoffs. Bitch. I do. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah. Like, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You ain't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, these motherfucking well, refs suck ass. When Pat Bear came. Winning Gabriel, he actually I thought he was like, gonna play better defense. I actually like winning Gabriel, bro. Hey, I, I, but see, I don't mind him being on the team. Me either, he's bro. Like, I like he's the he's the end of the bench guy. You know what I'm saying? Where mm-hmm. our team will be so deep, where he can't get on the court because players in front of him are so good. Yeah, that's you what, know it what is. I'm saying. But we we I, not, I ain't got that. I ain't got that hurt. Yeah, like, I, I feel like. I ain't gonna lie, y'all might call me crazy, but I feel like he give us better production than motherfucking Thomas Bryant. At times, Ooh. at times, both of them better production, you know, yeah, back, back and forth at times. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Cause his energy and his defensive prison, his defensive prison is, is big. We need his, we need him on the court. Exactly, bro. If AD ain't there, let's go, man. We, we can't have. Hey, oh, you see that boy? Uh. Uh, Toscano out there getting this little ball on. And that's my point, bro. Put the nigga out there and see what happens. But go ahead. I don't mean go ahead. I'm just trying to not to jinx it, bro. Nah, you good. I like him because he a big wing. Yeah, he's a bigger player. And was like, yeah, JTA sucks. I said, man, just play up and see what happens, bro. I was like, y'all ain't say shit when they play Max Christie. But y'all wouldn't play JTA. But Max Christie would be shooting, Joe. Yeah, that was yeah, Max good, Christie. But- he be they do business. different things. They do different things. I was talking about as far as the size of the players. Westbrook got his shit sent, boy. Come on, bro. You don't play no Max yeah. Christie before Toscano, bro. You really don't. Fuck that shit, bro. I don't give a damn what nobody say, dog. That shit trash. Come yeah. On, let's get this win. Let's get this win on Brian's birthday. Look at AD ass <laughs> We might get the win, though. We might get this win, though, for real. It's gonna be a that close game. Oh, ten. Oh, 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 I'm finna say that was a goal. Okay, if these, hey, like I told you, these niggas play with energy and effort, bro. We're gonna be straight, bro. Good block, Russ. Hit that Austin. His ass herb bro. And it seems like they learned something. It seemed like that they learned something from the last third quarter. So they look like they're a little more motivated not to get blown out the water this third quarter. Austin Reed just herb bro. You can't tough with that, bro. Man. Man. That nigga in the slump, dog. Oh, good block. Good block, Russ. Damn, or your ass late, bro. I don't care. Read this. <laughs> and then he earned all the three. Now I see what you was talking about. Yeah, bro. What, what you happened? doing, bro? What the fuck? Hey, oh, so Austin like, Reed. Hey, hey, come on, Austin Reed. I know you better than that, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. What are he you ain't, doing? He ain't 50, he just having a bad no game. Tell you that. Hey, he's slumping, bro. He's slumping right now, dog. He, he's definitely slumping. Yeah, he just, he's just lights a bad up. I told he y'all, I told be y'all be at the beginning of the stream that if you give me a like for every like you give me, bro, I'm gonna cut the score in half, bro. So get the lights up, man. Uh-huh. Bro, I got LeBron. that one. You play art. Look at bro. Brian is going nuts, bro. Let's <laughs> go. Oh, Brian is going nuts, bro. He got, that he got his what own board. Oh, bro. bro. Hey, he, hey, that's the goat right there, man. I think about that third in the third quarter, nigga. They might I'm not. Putting that in the short. He got his off forty. I yeah, want his They're gonna go viral. Oh, I say thirty-five or forty already. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. He need to drop his A. This we need to drop. Don't let him get high. He, 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 he said that Brian press bust pipes. So that's facts. Let's get it. Let me see. The third quarter is currently 25 to 17. That old ass nigga hustling. The uh, Lakers. <laughs> 25 18 Lakers. 
Hey, he, he wants this win, bro. You can tell he wants hey, Brian, this win. Hey, Brian got 29 points already, nine boards and eight assists. <clears throat> I he told you, triple double with forty points, nigga. We're gonna get two. Yeah. That's what I'm he talking about. See, that's favorite. fine. Hey, Russ, just play with Wendy Gabriel, bro. That's all you do, bro. Just concentrate on playing with Wendy Gabriel. And they actually a competitive duo uh, when they on the court together. Yeah, I mean, anything that keeps Russ passing the ball and not turning it over and shooting, I'm good with. Yeah. I think Russ should play like twenty minutes a game. Thanks. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Hey, yeah, hey, I'm gonna start with you, dog. I got a question real quick. I got an idea. Who was a who was a better six man? Uh, uh, strip club blue or or Russell Westbrook this year? Man, that's not even a motherfucking question, dog. Stop playing with me, dog. <laughs> <Ball is light. laughs> oh, it's definitely Lou Will. All right, all right. Spiritual hey. game, man. Who is, bro? Like, you're definitely Lou Will for sure, for sure. To my mama. Yeah. T Killer? Yeah, it was Will. All right, all right. RYM, you go on with the sweep? Yeah, for sure, Lou Will. For sure, Lou Will. All right, let me bring it down a little bit. Uh, Let's go. Let's go with a one time winner in James Horton in 2000. Oh, this nigga's acting the damn fool. Ooh, I'm about to act the fool, yep. Hey, hold up, bro. Was that Savannah sitting next to Brian Mama? Yeah, yeah. Was on them. yeah yes. they was hugging and kissing me uh, for the game. He said birthday. Duh, nigga. I didn't ask nothing about no yeah. birthday, nigga. I'm asking, was that Savannah? <laughs> nigga, fuck a birthday. Fuck yeah, before the game, nigga. Was that Savannah, nigga? He fine as hell, bro. God damn, ball, nigga. Hey, come on. I love you for life. Oh, oh, God. God. Just wow. for <laughs> Let's go, Troy. Nigga, now I'm you want to get some shots, Troy? Nigga, I'm in high pursuit of a prostitute right now, nigga. Oh, ass. <laughs> Stupid. Goddamn, Savannah is gorgeous, nigga. God damn. Man, she's really gorgeous, bro. Shit. Hey, I think she's the only wife I like. Damn, dog, your ass. <laughs> nigga, look, it oh, popped out the screen on me like it was a scary movie, nigga. I, I didn't see it. Shit. Brian, gonna whoop your ass, boy. Hey, I don't give a you damn. never seen Derrick Rose, right? I'll whoop your head, boy. Hey, hey, whoever said that Derrick Rose wiped that, that deal? I don't even think I ever seen Derrick go, Rose. Go wife. crazy. Man, what? that nigga had a wife and his baby oh, mama for Christmas. You better, you better go find him. You said better go find <laughs> He had look, he had his day mama. She and his way wife. better than him. Damn, for real. Hell yeah. Yeah, but I like is she is she is she real like Savannah though? Man, Savannah got some surgery somewhere, bro. I don't buy that. No. No. Yes, she no. You if you don't know, hey, hey, if you don't hey. know for real, don't be throwing no dirt on the queen. Hey. Okay. You hear right. me? So you think her you really think she ain't got no surgery, her husband a whole being there? And I'm on and I'm on hey look. I think they both take their physical fitness very seriously, and I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> All right. That nigga trying to say uh, Savannah got Botox and shit. Yeah, I'm about to put him in the backstage. I ain't gonna do St. Louis like that, man. St. Louis, stand up, first. You gotta stop playing. <laughs> we got a four point lead, man. Russ, Russ is uh, doing his thing right now. Shout out to Russ, man. If he can keep this up, man. Troy Brown, keep hitting his shots. Brian keep doing his thing, of course. We got a nine-point lead in the fourth quarter, 35 to 26. It's 20 seconds left. Russ made one free throw. He got one free throw to go. I think D Bonner finally got him a third quarter. Hey, it's looking, it's looking good. Got him a third I'm playing quarter. way better. Eight point third quarter. We we scored 36 points, 36 to 28. All that good energy, boy. That should have happened. 
I almost want to do a third quarter uh, oh, set. Like shit. You know? <laughs> he like, I really want. I really want that Miami Heat game, though, bro. Who hey, but the Lakers found they found their formula to stay in the third quarter, just score hundred points. Yeah, <laughs> first. That's sad. That is sad right. that you need to get a hundred points to stay in the game. Hey man, shout out, shout out to JTA for getting some quality minutes, man. Yeah, I mean, you asked for it to the beginning of the uh, game, mm-hmm. though. You did ask that. Hey, yeah, I just think, just imagine if the Lakers was good, bro. Just y'all see how how tight the West is, bro. Them niggas could have easily been in the bro. I'm talking about, bro. They could have yep. easily been. If AD was still here, we would be up there. Yeah, the West is wide open. Wide the West open. Is wide open. We would have made a slight push if AD was still here. But I think if we were, if AD was still hurt and we would have made a slight trade, maybe for a Bogdanovich, some a shooter, I think we I think that would have took the seal yeah. off the team. And we would have really seen how good that we could really be. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of mm-hmm. the bitch ass Lakers. I, I seen earlier I seen earlier today uh motherfuckers say uh uh the Lakers uh considering not doing no fucking trade, bro. Yeah, to the uh to, to the uh trade deadline, and the trade deadline this year, guys, is February 9th, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not like it's that long away. I ain't shit gonna so, happen. I will tell you that right now, bro. I give you fees out. I don't think nothing's gonna, gonna happen neither, man, man. Because I'm like, okay, so y'all gonna wait for say AD come back in two weeks. Y'all gonna wait just two weeks to see if if it's worth making a trade. I mean, y'all line us, been lying us this all time. First. They told us motherfucking uh they told us Thanksgiving, then they said motherfucking uh 15th of December. Now like come on bro. Them bitch ass niggas lying, bro. He said we literally played no defense in the third. Yes, we did. Uh, we hold on, let me see if that was the uh the highest scoring. We played good That was a lowest scoring quarter. We played they only scored 28 points, nigga. Yeah, we played good. Nigga, you remember you remember Dallas putting up fifty on us in the third quarter, nigga. <laughs> you played a little defense, man. Hey, I need y'all to do what um one cool piece said. Hit that like button for your boy. You hear me? We got a three point lead going into the fourth quarter. We gonna pull this game out today. Fourth quarter is gonna be Patrick Beverly, Austin right. Reeves, winning Gabriel. Toscano, Anderson, and Russ to start the fourth quarter. Yep, and Russ came out and missed the shot. But when he gave her, got the tip in. Let's go. Indeed. Okay. Has y'all boy Patrick Beverly made another shot yet? Nope. And he won't. He's still four for five. Still got he won't. He won't make another one. I'd be surprised if he do. Trash ass nigga. And, and that's somebody who's seen his numbers at halftime and was like, yeah, I need to raise my numbers up so I ain't gonna shoot no more. Yeah. Look, yeah, nigga, I think I said I'm done. My yeah. average is good for this guy. Yeah, my average gonna go up. Come on, man, get some get some separation on these niggas, man. Shit. Yeah, separation is gonna be hard. They ball and just gotta defend. Big facts, the NBA talk. They ball and say it got better when when he played Toscano Brown and Brian all together. We had size and did better contesting shots. Big fucking facts. <clears throat> That's exactly what I tried to tell this hey, nigga. All right, I, uh, I got to step out for a minute, my man. I'll catch y'all in a minute. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, Appreciate sir. you, T. Killer, bro. Take it easy, fellas. Yes, Be sir. easy, my boy. Oh, shit. Here we go. We got to win the fourth quarter, too, man. We can't, you know what I'm saying, have a good third quarter then. Motherfucker lay an egg in the fourth, nigga. But they called a timeout. They took a one point lead. Yeah, I think Brian coming back out of the timeout. 
it's 10 50 love it's, it's been a minute and 10 seconds <laughs> shit yeah brian coming back uh, yeah normally he'd probably come back around the 89 minute mark probably the eight minute mark but hey nah i think you know he can't stay out too much long it's his birthday bro he want to make sure he want to win on his birthday he might want to come back after this time out They started the fourth quarter on a 6-2 run in a minute and 10 seconds. A minute is crazy. Yeah. A couple threes. <laughs> I know. I'm behind. So I'm reading from the um, scoreboard. So when I'm on the scoreboard, I'm ahead of all y'all, unless you're watching it on TV live. We might be around the same, but if I'm looking at on it from my phone, I'm about a, about 40 seconds behind. So I heard y'all say something exciting happening, and I'll go look at it. I figure it makes for good commentary. So that oh, was goodness. Yeah. See, like that. I don't know what a messenger account is. He said, cut TV on YouTube. I'll subscribe to the channel. Big fact. Say y'all niggas quiet as hell. Man. You know me, nigga. I'm always Went quiet. Game. I'm going to some commercial. Went on the game, come back on. Yeah, me too. Yeah, hey, <laughs> man. Right, these niggas, man. Put Brian Thank back you, in. Fuck this shit, man. Yeah, commercial. Shit fast. I just blocked the nigga because he can't. Kind of I am on here and say, I ain't say shit, but just promoted this channel. Got to the block this thing. What y'all think? LeBron out there cooking. Wait, who? Who's promoting? I said, I, I, I just blocked the nigga that came on here to, to promote his YouTube channel. He didn't say what's up or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I blocked his ass. Should I have blocked him? <laughs> I think you should have timed him out if yeah. he did it again, then block him. Nah, fuck that. Block the ass. Get them niggas out of here. Nigga, fuck out of here, nigga. This ain't I mean, no promotion. Yeah, sure. to see us to get the promoters. <laughs> nigga, pay my nigga, nigga. Then he'll promote your shit, nigga. Yep. Big facts. Fuck out of here, nigga. Get these subs oh, up, man. Fuck out of here. Yep, roll to a thousand, man. I'm on a roll to a thousand, y'all. Let's go. Get the rebounds, niggas. Stop watching. Ho ass niggas. Yeah, I'm so hey. What what they call? They should have called something. All them niggas standing there watching. Mm -hmm. Shit, niggas. What's good, Taiwan, man? He missed one though. Come on, let's go. Three point lead, Russ. This may lay up. Yeah, hey, yep. 
We're going to see what happened with him because I know he's definitely going to play him in the fourth quarter. Nah, Scott Walker ain't playing, bro. And, okay, and you, shout out to Brian. Man. It's his birthday, bro. He came back out in the 1050 mark. Told so that nigga was coming back, on. Why is Reeves still in the game, though? Because they're going to let that young man work his way out of his slump. All right, let him keep shooting all these bricks. And let's yeah, he might get a big shot at the end. Shit, everybody else shooting bricks, shit. He Don't might that nigga that fall in. Well, he yeah. shot the most bricks on the team. And another brick. Yeah. Right, what is he from three? Hold on, let me see. Nah, this is crazy. Does it say what he is from three? He's one and nine from the from oh, three. One and thirteen bad. from. Yeah. You take thirteen shots and only make one, and you're still in the game in the fourth quarter. Okay. Mm. He just shot another one. Who else he gonna God, play? Damn, he lost three. <laughs> That nigga Austin Reed shooting from the logo, nigga. Kendrick Nunn. That nigga think he in preseason. He said Kendrick Nunn. Uh, Definitely ain't going to see no Kendrick Nunn today. This nigga in the real slump, bro. But you saw. And the real slump. The end of the the game with Kendrick Nunn kind of being some bitch. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. He was in a few shots. What's good, Unc? What's up, Axel Jackson, man? How you doing? I'm saying like a jiggling, man. Just got off work, man. You feel me? No, no doubt, bro. What's cracking, man? <laughs> Ain't nothing much, man. Get ready for this new year, man. You know what I'm saying, dog? Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's going to be new year. Yes, sir. What, what up, dog? What's popping with it, boy? No much, man. No much. Trying to see if we late gonna get this goddamn win for us before the new year, man. Cause I'm I'm, I'm tired of seeing this losing, man. Shit. Don't shit get oh my god, these niggas be passing right and oh my god, niggas make elementary fucking passes, bro. Bees on this panel. Let's go, bro. Oh, yeah. Let's go, bro. Brian, Brian going for fifty. Me nigga, change my mind. I'm gonna give me a win on my birthday. I don't care what y'all niggas do. Give me the ball. Uh, every is, time. is your birthday hard? Come on, man. Is your birthday? You know, no, it's Brian. Nah, Brian birthday. birthday. Oh, Brian. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, take Russ out the game now, please. You did what you gonna do. Man, put Brian out there, put uh uh Big dummy number one out there, put Toscano out there, put Troy Brown out there, and put who else? Uh, Fuck, hey, man. I gotta hey, pick between Russell Russell and goddamn Pat Bear, man. No, you can put yeah. Schroeder out there. What about his life? I, I oh, yeah, that's right. To pay for a that's bed, right. Bro. What's good? What's your action? Yeah, hey, man, shout out to Beast for letting me pay him 70 instead of 100. Man, you had to do it, man. You didn't have no faith. You didn't have no faith. No, no. At this point, it is what it is. And I didn't want, I didn't want that to be hold like hovering over me. Oh, he owes a bees a hundred dollars. He owes bees. So when B said you could send seventy, I was like, okay, bet. Cause people want to pay their bets. Yeah, and but that's one thing I realized. Like a lot of people on YouTube do not pay their bets, and they never come back again. Yeah, that's why I don't need bad man. I just, I'm just not a bad person. I don't like to gamble anyway. That just not what I do. Hey, shout out to JP88, man. Mama and wifey at the game. He ain't losing this game. <laughs> Big fat. Let's go, bro. <laughs> hey, side piece hey. probably on in the he game. He should have brought the kids though. Hey, this is the first time his bird and his uh wife went to the game. Hell Who? His what well, burned me in your mind, you know? You know what I'm Hell saying? No, no. Those Cleveland days, I remember seeing both of them in the uh, stands. I don't remember LA though. 
Oh, okay. Now, I don't, I don't think you go to LA games too much. If she do, she up in the box somewhere. Can't nobody see her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know, I know. She be, she be motherfucking uh, in, the, in the crowd, bro. I seen her a couple of times in the crowd. Them Kobe fans might be crazy. Hell, it might be a different atmosphere in LA than it was in Cleveland. Yup. Yeah. I'm in that one video. He told his mama back then. He's like, "Mom, sit your ass down." <laughs> I could see him saying, "Yeah, nah, that was." I could see him saying like Vanessa's better or something like that. Nah, that might be taking it too far. No, nah, they better not chant that. Brian would have gone her and be like, "Yeah, we out of here. I ain't playing another <laughs> game. I ain't playing another game for this damn ratchet ass thing." Because weren't they screaming Westbrook at uh, Russell Westbrook's wife and kids? Yeah, they were. Don't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Westbrook talking about some uh. Man, he Brian, he right here. Brian might get a forty piece. Are you serious? Oh, uh, we got. To- yeah, we got the Hornets. We got the Hornets. Yeah, he got the, 30 Hawks, the, Heat, the Hawks, the Kings, and the Nuggets. So we got the Hornets again on Monday. And they go to let's Charlotte. Go but let's make these winnable games. Damn. So Charlotte beat us in LA. So yeah, we need to beat their ass in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. All right, let John Collins shoot him out the game. That he one player, I don't feel John like five. John Collins. I don't feel like he moves the needle. John Collins, that one player, I don't think he's all that. I don't see what the hype is about him. Hey, all right, we shouldn't have lost that early game. We we bros. Man, it's about six games. We shouldn't have lost. Hey, it might be more. Yeah, right. You're right, boss. Like, maybe we should have won more than more. Yeah. <clears throat> bro, can we get some fucking breathing room, bro? No. Oh, come on, Brian. Come on, Schroeder. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, that's some dumbass threes. I'll be ta- we'll be talking about with Brian, bro. Why are you taking a half court three like that? This is birthday. Man, he do that shit all the time, all right? <laughs> shit, exactly. hey, well, you asked your own question, nigga. <laughs> No, I'm saying why he taking it, knowing it's a dumbass. God damn. Because they up one, man. They got the lead, man. He's trying to put a dagger in this team with five minutes and 45 seconds left. Because, man, we could really put this Shoot, team away sorry. right now. We could really put this team away right now if niggas start scoring. For real. We need a bucket. Shout out to Troy Brown for the offensive. Hey, um, Action Jackson, man, mute your mic with your eating ass, bro. I know your ass just been off work, nigga. Oh, my bad, my bad. No, my damn channel, man. Channel edit, nigga. Nigga. Let's go, Dennis Schroeder. This nigga LeBron missing some O3s, boy. Something wrong with him. That's all right, though. Man, take one of these damn guards out. We don't out. care about the threes he missed. We went down. Yep. And it seemed like the right one, as you said, Dennis Strader should have been the only one in this bitch. Right, bro. Because we got Brian. Hey, but he got the – no, no, no. He got the lineup you asked for. He got he got LeBron, Thomas Bryan, Dennis Strader, Troy Brown Jr., and, and, and Toscano Anderson on the court right now. That's the one I wanted, though. This is a good lineup on the court. Well, you want it. So let's see if they can put the motherfucking guy. Yep. Uh, good one, Dennis. To me, this is an active lineup, and it's a big lineup. Good dunk, Thomas Bond. Yeah, let's see if we can get some defensive stop. Hey, go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Okay, Thomas Bryant. Point game. Yeah, let's go. Let's get some distance. Mm. 
They just got to make it interesting. Oh, come on, y'all. All right, JTA. Okay, boy. All right, okay, boy. Hey, shout out to one. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. What up, Jake? Come on, my niggas. Come on, my niggas. Shit. It's my birthday, too, niggas. Come on, give me this win, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> Hell nah, nigga. Hey, LeBron, one assist and one rebound. We're coming to get over. 40 point trip double on your birthday. Yeah. Pre All right, bro. I told that nigga was going for 40, bro. And a triple, and piece. a triple dub, nigga. That's 40 piece. Hey. He said, he said, the fuck you three. Hate on that motherfucker. Big fat sweet 340, man. Hey, I'm telling you, bro, I don't know why niggas be tripping off Brown shooting threes like that. Or that's what he do. I don't give a damn. He can shoot them all day, bro. I'd rather him than him no other than niggas out there. Nah, nah, to fuck out of here, man. To his, credit, to his credit, he did say half court threes. <laughs> I don't give a shit. LeBron been shooting logo threes for how long now? I know, man, but but that's not good, man. Those are, man, those that's are LeBron, nigga. That's LeBron, nigga. Now, if Russ one them was shooting shit like that, I have a problem. Hey, right, golf. Would you still say that shit is LeBron? If you do that shit in the playoff game, and we need that three, and nigga, we, he gonna do it in the playoff game, nigga. What you mean? You said he. You said he not. I said he is. He gonna spank it. Man. I don't, bro. I don't trip off of Brian, dude. That's Brian, bro. That's Brian, bro. That's not no ordinary nigga on that court with them niggas, bro. I feel you, but at the same time, bro, that nigga do some dumb shit sometimes. Hey, bro, that nigga got 40, bro. I don't wear nothing. Yeah. Like, you got 40. Hey, that nigga got 40. That 40 finna get us that dub tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Shit. Yeah, I don't give a damn what Brian do, bro. I don't never complain about Brian do shit, bro. Yeah, some turnovers and shit, yeah, but shooting three. Shoot them bitches, my nigga. So you say year 20, he, he's okay to make mistakes for that. For what? For like, shooting threes? For anything like that, yeah. No, I get mad at him when he had fucked up turnovers, but for shooting threes, I don't give a shit. Mm. Like I said, I'd rather him shoot than anybody else, nigga. That's Brian, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. Yeah. What I, up, you, man. I, I agree. You got shit, win. man. Thanks, Reggie. Anybody All these get, other niggas on these other teams could shoot from wherever they want, and it's cool. But Brian can't do it, nigga. Y'all get man, please, my nigga. Nah, nah. See, you you taking that shit too far. Nah, nigga. I'm taking it to where I'm taking it, nigga. That's Brian, nigga. Case closed. I'm done with it, my nigga. I'm watching this game. <laughs> you hella funny, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. Boys play with toys, my nigga. Yeah, you play with toys, man. <laughs> my boy, so who is that, Art? This spiritual young, my nigga. Man, dude, uh, look, dude. Spiritual uh, young and stay in your young ass place, my nigga. Don't don't come at me like that, bro. I ain't disrespect you, my nigga. <laughs> here you go. Ain't no here I go, man. I'm being real, man. Don't disrespect me, my nigga. I, 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 I ain't no boy, my nigga. I hear you. I hear you. You and your feelings. I hear you. And my feelings. Hey, bro. Let's, get this win. let's get this win, y'all. Man, he about to get triple double, man. He got nine rings. Energy, like we said. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas uh, make up. It's Brian's birthday, nigga. I ain't making up nothing with that nigga. That nigga mama had a girl when he was born, nigga. See, I'm just, y'all niggas were supposed to laugh. <laughs> hey, hey. What's that, Or? You missing my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. We got no drama with this. With That's the panel still going on. That's my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian had 13 in the third quarter. He got nine in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Yeah, 16 in the <laughs> second quarter. Let's go. Let's go. I got 100 people watching, man. I need 100 likes, man. Get them likes up for your boy, man. Big old sports in the building, man. Let's go. We finna get this dub. We need, we, hey, we need about two more stops and about two more buckets. It's three minutes left. Let's see if we can get two more shots and two more stops. Huh. 
Oh, you missing dunks, though, man. You can't be missing no dunks, man, man. Get the fucking rebound, Thomas Bryant. Fuck. Niggas be having big hands for nothing. Oh, you know, hey, but dog, dog, man, we got to, we got to, we got to, we got to stop. Let's see if we can get the bucket. Hey, LeBron James is going. Oh, this dude right here. You're at 20. Yeah. That and one was. Don't say no, man. Come on. Let, let it play through. <laughs> hey, he got this. I think it's it. You know I'm behind the goddamn guy. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say nothing either. LeBron went and got that motherfucker. Give me the ball, nigga. Yep, we got the bucket. We got to stop. Then we got the bucket. Now we need one more stop and one more bucket, and this and this is a game. <laughs> yeah, Savannah out there looking sensational, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, he not losing. Damn, dog, losing in front of his wife, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that didn't look scrumptious, nigga. <laughs> 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 LB motherfucking J. Nigga. Come on. Tell niggas you do what you want to do, bro. Come on, rest, bro. Y'all can't give him the game like this, rest, bro. That was a bad call. He like, he a wit. What'd he say? I'm going to give him a take. Oh, man. Nope. I hope they didn't. Nah, they didn't. Oh. Man, these refs be calling some bullshit ass fouls, bro. Hey, God, hey bro. is he about to hit fifty? Yeah, he is. He got forty five, bro. Yeah, he just hit a two foot shot. You know what oh, I'm saying? They might go to OT though. No, with a minute and thirty nine seconds, that's our second bucket. Now, now we just need to get our last stop, and we can put this game away, bro. Hey, bro, who said they going to OT, bro? <laughs> who said that shit? Nobody, <laughs> that's it, bro. We gonna win this fucking game. Bro. If they don't play, if they don't play nah. defense, bro, I said they. Nah, I heard that shit all. <laughs> my ears can't unhear that shit, my nigga. Hey, it's all good. It's a minute twenty five left. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, and it's a, a three point game, four point game. Shit, man. That was a five point game. Hold you. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good they layup, bro. Brock is cold. Good layup, Russ. Yeah, Russ. Close the game out there, Russ. I guess we still going to overtime, I'm huh? I'm sorry. No, nah, but shout out to Russ, nigga. God damn, y'all see it in a second. Hey, LeBron needs to get his run with it with the mid range. Put a little crazy. Close the game out there, my damn. Oh, okay. Hope you do. Uh, you do the right to right to cradle. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Here we go. Let's go. Way to close them out. We had a good third quarter and a good fourth quarter, man. Let's go. Yep. Just don't let these niggas have no miracle shit. 
I don't even care that Russell. <laughs> hey, a turnover is a turnover. Man, why uh why why uh Murray mad? Hey, hey, Art, I think your boy gonna go to that lineup. Well, what you call them more often? Why? He, he should. With Troy Brown, Siscano. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously works when you play uh when you play big. But he'll still run out those four guard lineups. We know Darvin here. Nah, he need to. He need to. He need to. See, just like he had this lineup right here on the back burner, he need to put that four guard lineup on the back burner. <laughs> Fuck that. Play them. Play them. Play play them tall niggas in the game, bro. Them niggas was hungry tonight, man. Toscano's out there balling. I know his plus minus is gonna be ridiculous. Hey, just run clock on them niggas. Make them niggas spot. I, Thomas Bryant, 19 and 17. I will take it, my nigga. Yeah. Yo, seven same rebounds. I will take it. Can't call no big dummy no more. Yeah, I can. I know. <laughs> that nigga got to be, what we said earlier, he got to be consistent with it, baby. Oh, oh man. What you got? How many games? You don't give him nothing to say that no more. How many games? Man, fuck that, man. Shit, until we start winning. Yeah, man, we fucking got the motherfucking win. Man, this is about LeBron, not Russell Westbrook. Yeah, it's about the team, that. man. No, no, no. It's about LeBron. No, let's stop saying team when when LeBron when the Lakers win his cousin LeBron James. Nah, ball right. The team played good, but nigga, this is Brian night, like, nigga. That nigga went the fuck off, nigga. Yeah. Well, he didn't draw 50. <laughs> I'm mad he didn't get that one assist. Oh, he back all good. Feet? Yeah, yeah, 45. He got 18 for 27, 4 for 6 from 3, 10 boards, 9 assists, 47 but, points. He has 47 now. But that's all. Oh, LeBron James is not a scorer. He's not a scorer like that. He's not a top five scorer. A little bird. Hey, this nigga went ballistic tonight, bitch ass <laughs> niggas. Hey, he went ballistic. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> Yay! Hey, shout out to my motherfucking cousin. He said, LeBron, once again, the youngest, oldest nigga I've ever seen. <laughs> nigga, what? Nigga? He need to go, bro. Nigga, what? Yeah, he did it again. And they said he's washed. They said he's washed. He's washed. He's done. He don't play the same way. That's what they be saying. Look at him. He man, stood up loose. Man, this nigga went dumb in ATL, nigga. That's stupid dumb, bro. Got this win in front of his family on his birthday, bro. Shout out to his teammates. You know what I'm saying? They ain't let him down. Thomas Bryan, JTA. You know what I'm saying, Russ? Looking at his. Damn, Savannah, boy. He going to tear your ass up tonight, boy. Yo ass. Shit, boy, he gonna knock the stuffing out that goddamn turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take it going into the new year, nigga. I don't give a damn. He probably, he probably gonna have another. He gonna have another child tonight, man. Big facts. He say like goat performance. That's big facts. That's definitely a goat performance. E double E. That nigga went. That nigga went all in the night in the game, nigga. That that's. Boy, yeah. 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 Niggas. I want to hit a bullshit tonight, nigga. But but he's washed, they said. They said he's done. They said he's not the same. He them lost haters. Them haters. Them, them haters, man. He's Fucking done. Name me how many 38 year old players can do this. Who can do this <laughs> at this age? Go James. <laughs> This nigga went for 47, nigga. 47. 47, <laughs> dog. 47. <laughs> yeah, see what that nigga had, like 23 shots on? 
Guess what? He got nine assists and ten rebounds doing it. He got a triple double, damn near. Twenty seven. A triple double. Twenty seven. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, or you know what's crazy? Back in 2006, back in 2006 on his birthday, on his Hawks, he had like 48. Man, damn. Yeah, man. Hey. hey he's <clears> old, man. Yeah, he to go. That with. nigga. He go. That nigga went retarded tonight, nigga. Once he passed Good Kareem, I'll give him the Lakers. He's the GOAT for me. Once he passes him, he's the goat for me. Hey, he gonna pass that nigga quick as hell. Or how he I, been I know, but I'm just saying, once he passed that, it's over, man. He's my goat. Man, he the goat now, nigga. I, I know what he you mean. Goat. I feel you on that. I really do. But once he that, wait, that's still the deal. Wait for Don't announce me once the shit happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna ride the way. <laughs> he ain't get a triple double though. He got nine assists. He should have got one more. Big facts. Nah, that nigga did get that triple double, nigga. No, nah, he that got nine assists. Man. Hey, he nah, nigga, he got the triple double, nigga. He got that W, nigga. Yeah. It's, okay, it's, how many shots he took? How many shots did he take? Twenty-seven. They're not going Almost thirty. I see everybody had double digit points, bro. That's what we need, bro. It's not gonna happen on a normal basis, though. No, nah, but thank God it happened this game. Like I said, the they say he's not a scorer, man. Uh, he's not a great scorer. You gotta have um, win one that's game. That's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing here, game by game. We're not in the luxury to to be worried about how many games we can win in a row or. Well, we look you know like what? I, I don't care, man. I'm yeah. watching LeBron hey, man, James. Hey, I care about you interrupting me, Action Jackson. My bad. <laughs> I'm just getting into it, man. My bad. I'm I know like, you, I know you be jumping the jumping the gun, bro. <laughs> he hype. I'm hype too. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to keep it in perspective that it's one game at a time. We can only get back to anything if we win games. So that means that that what means everything. Go ahead. Action. I mean, man, right now, man, we just we should just appreciate the greatness, man. Just, just just watch and play, man. Just watch the greatness, man. Just watch it. Just appreciate it, man. Take it all in. That's what we need to be doing, man. Instead of worry about, oh, is he gonna win another championship or or you know, let's, let's enjoy this the, the moment, man. That was it. I'm done. I'm finished. This I'm game ain't gonna do them. Hey, right. go ahead. I say this game is gonna do nothing but piss me off because like the front office they see this nigga <laughs> dropping forty, they still ain't gonna help this nigga out, bro. That's the sad part. They don't care, man. They don't care about helping this man. They want this man to be done. They don't want. They don't want to help him out for nothing. They don't want no more pieces around. They don't want no good pieces around. They want him just to suffer. Mm-hmm. It's a setup, man. This is all set up. It's, it's, they don't want they don't want him past Kobe in, in them. They don't want him past Kobe and Jordan. They don't want that. This is a setup. Yeah, it's an inside job for sure. It is. Who's running it? Jeannie Buzz, Phil Jackson, uh Kurt Rams, Rams is his wife. They all running it. Y'all in cahoots. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then the people, mm. the, the Laker fans, there was a Laker fans don't like him. How you gonna be a Lakers fan and not like this player? I don't get that. How you gonna be a fan of the team and not cheer for a guy that's on your squad? Because of that Kobe shit, bro. That's all it is, bro. That's it's crazy. Well, at least they're gonna give him his flowers tonight. They bet it. They ain't got no choice. Hell, hey, all right, you know, it's some haters out here. I ain't gonna mention no names, but you know, in, in one channel out here, that nigga ain't gonna give a fuck. He gonna still hate. Yeah. Well, fuck them niggas. They gonna hate when you break the record. They gonna hate. Yeah, they still gonna like longevity. Get the fuck, bro. If longevity. Oh, he, did, he, did it, he did it in the three point the, the three point era. He didn't do it. He didn't do it in the other era. Oh, Kareem wasn't taking three point shots. But that's impressive, though, that Kareem did that shit without taking a three point shot, though. 
What up, bees? Shout out to my nigga bees, man. I know you seen that. If you ain't see that performance, bro, you missed out, bro. But if you at work, I understand. Shout out to my nigga bees. He said, You two niggas. Hey, BC, as soon as I say, What's up? <laughs> Let the niggas talk, man. Damn. Shit, man. But but LeBron James is not a great scorer. He put up 70, 47 points. He's not a great scorer. No, he did his thing tonight, man. He got he got he got even closer to the all time scoring record. You know what I'm saying? That's a big chunk. You, so A B A B bro, what what's dumb about it, bro? This is B saying what's up, man. Man, that's all, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Bro, we damn near had three niggas with 10, ten assists or more, nigga. Oh, shit. Brian, Russ, and who else? Schroeder had nine. Okay. He made up for that stupid-ass unhanded pass earlier. You know what that means, right? Niggas was making their shots in that second half, nigga. Oh. Big facts. All them yeah. damn assists, nigga. What was that damn near? What was that 30 assists? Damn near? Between them three? Just between them three, shit. We did good as a team, man. I was really impressed. We even shot well. We shot 54% from the field, 31% yeah, you know. from three, 89% from, from the free throw line. Man. Yeah, you saw all that, too. Yeah. Turnovers, we only had 16. Well, we well, I ain't gonna say only, but we had 16 turnovers. We had six blocks, 34 assists. We we won the rebounder by a lot, 55 to 41. So here, yeah, that's what's up. We had 10 threes, they hit 11 0. Good win. It's a quality Could team. Play this you know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't mad at it at all. We have the um, – damn, I seen it earlier. We have the Charlotte Hornets on Monday. Then oh, we'll we play till right Monday? Around. Yeah, we're going to play till Monday. Okay. That's a, that should be a winnable game. They should get them back. Man. Yeah. Well, that's why Brian was like, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and play the whole fourth quarter. He came back in at the 10 mark. was like, yep, let's go. Cause that nigga knew, bro. For one, it's my birthday, and I know if I go out this game anytime in this sport, it could be bad news. You started to. You caught a timeout with a minute and ten seconds until the fourth hey, quarter. Hey, uh, Tatum just tweeted out. He said, "Brian gonna be able to say he's scored more points than anyone to ever play this game." That's wild. That is wild. Shout out to Jason Tatum, bro. My nigga, he know the deal. That is wild. Yeah, he he's going to be able to say he scored more points than any player to ever play in the NBA. Thanks. Hey, just think about that, though, dog. Like, this is a nigga you've been watching since high school, bro, and this nigga about to be the all-time, God willing, be the all-time leading scorer in the NBA, bro. It's nuts, man. This is nuts. It's nuts. That shit man. don't make no sense. Yeah, that nigga might cry. He say this is one VL say he said he ain't gonna cry. That ain't gonna cry, bro. Yeah, especially if he do it in LA with his family there. I'm saying his ass, bro. That nigga be capping. It's it's gonna be it's gonna start to be a contingent. How I hope for it to go down, y'all, before I end this shit. I hope it's a contingent of people that start to follow him around when when it's time to break the record as far as like the media, his um his family. Old basketball players, old teammates. You know what I'm saying? Um, because you don't know exactly what game he gonna break it. Right. So, I think they're gonna start following this nigga around the country and shit, bro. And that shit gonna be tight. No, especially so, when he get close. Especially hey, when he get close, close. Hey, no. You know? So what? I feel, like, I feel like not to cut you RG, I feel like um, when he get to that, like when he get to like. 50 points away, that's when motherfuckers might just start following him around, bro. Yep. Or he might score 50 to get that motherfucker, though, when he gets to that point, bro. Shit. Okay, let me ask you a question, y'all. So how many games is going to – like, how many points he got to – how many more points he got to get? He got, like, five – he got, like, five, like, five, ten. Yeah, he's, he's definitely in the 500s. Yeah. That nigga so been how many that shit up this year, nigga. 
He just scored. So how many 60, games you think that's gonna he take? Y'all. Like sixty points the last two games, bro. Mm-hmm. That's nuts, so 70, 60, 70 damn points. That's nuts, so bro. Yeah, he damn near scored. Nah, he, it's damn near just like seventy something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like seventy five or something like that. Yeah, what's twenty eight yeah. plus forty seven? I, I want to get to 40K, man. I want to get to 40K points. Hey, I want to luck. see that. Hey, good luck with that, bro. Yeah, you do that, bro. It's that's over. Not, that's not happening, bro. I, it is spiritual, younger, bro. Bro, it's not. <laughs> Come on, like, dip. You don't get 40K. You said he yeah, got crazy. Crazy. Come on, man. I did the math. I did the math on it. And it's not as hard as people think. Like, people think it's going to take multiple years besides next year. And I, I said it, I said it in my opening. I said the closer he get to thirty nine hundred, the more likely it is that he'll get to forty thousand next year. Because say he got like twelve hundred, eleven, twelve hundred to get to forty thousand, he could do that in a year. He's going to get about probably about thirteen, fourteen, yeah, maybe exactly. fifteen hundred this year. Hey, all right. Say if, say if, like you know what I'm saying. If he like sit out more games than years to come after that, like after this year, say if he sit out more games, right? You think he could still get that forty k? Yeah, because um, say like he could sit out similar to what this year is, maybe even last year. Say 15, 20 games. Last year he missed twenty some games, and I want to say he still had like like fifteen hundred points. Yeah, so it, it 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 really depends on his scoring. Yeah, and B and B stop putting that bad energy out there in the world. Nobody in the world reported this shit, bro. So ain't nobody gave you that word but you. And, he said he might need. Hey, that's real shit though. Or he might need it, but he's just gonna play through it, bro. You know, he said maybe back in two weeks. In his foot. Yeah. In his foot, yeah, his foot, yeah. That shit retarded. How do you need <laughs> surgery off? What the hell? He didn't need he to tapped, do shit. His foot tapped the nigga in the early. Yeah, he, 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 I, I don't think he mentioned mentioned he needed surgery. Did he? Did I miss something? No, he no. Nah, he said it was either that. It was either he said. Uh, they told me eight months to eight nine months I'd be sitting out or four weeks. He said I take the four weeks. I'm not trying to do no eight months. So he said he. He didn't say he need it, but he said it's a possibility. He uh it's a choice if he want it, bro. All right, so he got about another two weeks before he come back, like I said. That's yeah. not a bad. I mean, but yeah, y'all should it's be the, worried. Man, the niggas, right now. Tell y'all, niggas tell y'all about the, the injuries, you know what I'm saying? Y'all shouldn't be scary for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, he definitely gonna play. I got faith. I got a little. I got a little faith left. You hear me? Y'all hating ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I blame us. I mean, time that nigga injured. I don't know. It's depressing. You so say you think you you, you think Brian would have already had the scoring title if he didn't get hurt earlier with the Lakers. Yes, he would have definitely broken. He was on record to break it in like his 18th year. So he missed like 30 games the first year he was there. The second year was there. He missed like another. 30 games, and then last year he missed um 20 some games, so yeah, he definitely would have been broke that record by now, you know. But the countdown begins, my niggas, you know what I'm saying. I yes. appreciate y'all coming up for today, man. King Dolph, spiritual younger man, ball his life, Action Jackson, man, RYM, man. Appreciate y'all staying up for this whole time, bro. Real uh-huh. shit. Yes, yeah, sir. I appreciate you for running the show, my nigga. Man. I will see y'all uh what Monday against the Hornets. We'll be back. Yo. Hey man, yeah, happy happy new year, all right? Yeah, you too, yes, G. Sir, happy new year, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. Weezy Bang, New Year's live party going down for Saturday night. Yes, baby. sir. <laughs> <My nigga. laughs>